I'm doing well. I'm glad to hear that you're doing well, Penthos, as well. It's good to see you. Oh my gosh, how are you doing? Well, you already told me you're doing well. That's awesome. Um, I hope that works out for you. I truly, truly do. Oh my gosh, that, that would be amazing. That would be absolutely fantastic. Hey, JJ, how you doing? Um, let me turn this music down just a little bit. Just a little louder, my dears. <laughs> nah, how is everybody doing? How is your Tuesday treating you? Oh my gosh, Tuesday, and we're streaming? What? What? It's Tuesday, and we're streaming. That's so wild. That's so wild. No, we're doing good here. We're doing good here. I just had a therapy session. Always wonderful. Always wonderful. Literally just wrapped it up, actually. Let me make sure my focus is good. Looks like it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I saw the I saw some of the stuff that you were doing. And of course you saw me working on our new uh <laughs> working on getting some new uh uh <laughs> alerts and stuff taken care of. Not all done. <laughs> not all done. They're not perfect, but they're up. <laughs> and they're, you know, they are what they are for now. I'm still working on perfecting them, but I think they look all right. Um, but yeah, <laughs> oh, it's so good to be here. Um, I'm, I'm glad, Penthos, that, uh, you know, it'd be a nice pay bump for you. I totally feel that. I totally, totally feel that. Um, and I hope it works out. Um, but that's a that's a good attitude uh, to, to have, too, you know. Um, not being torn up if you don't get it. That's a good place to be in. And um, I hope, but I, I do, I sincerely, sincerely hope that it works out. Mm. Let me get a little sippage, a little sip. Nice. Uh, it's a gif? Oh, there it is. There it is. Nice. Look at all that. Oh, that's awesome, JJ. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, that's exciting. That is so exciting. Also, thank you uh, for uh, making that new image in the uh, community, in the general chat there. Um, yeah, you guys can see the new streaming schedule and uh, when we are going live. Uh, yeah, that is so nice. Thank you so much for doing that. You wonderful, wonderful human being you are. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so good to be here. Nice. Oh, that's always good. And that's that's great that your manager is the one who like was like, hey, you should do this. Like that's always nice when you have that support. Um you know. Uh you know, when you have that support behind you. What color should I have today? Should I have blue? Should I have kind of green actual green red i don't know can you give me your opinion oh can you give me oh the twitch integration app i like it i like it um yeah i like i like the font everything it looks good it looks good. i like the purple yeah yeah um i think your spacing on your lines there's there's only one red always red <laughs> okay okay um this light kind of drowns it out a little bit but uh because these aren't the best leds i got them for cheap but you know they, they are what they are right <laughs> i'm not gonna complain uh there's one thing that i would suggest and it's just it's a slight bug in my mind but it's not bad by any means let me let me drag this over here real quick and go to the work screen um so that way um, just real quick, draw on it. Um, oh yeah, I have, hold on, let me get my desktop capture up real quick. Um, display capture, here we go. So the, the one thing that I would say, <laughs> um, is, do you see how, um, hold on, let me open the original, see if I can make it a little bit bigger too. Okay, here we go. Um, I don't know if you can see my mouse right now, probably not, but, uh, you see how there's just this little dip if you look right under integration um there's this little bit of a dip in the twitch logo that kind of bugs me for some reason i don't know why it's just like it's like it dips down just a little bit and then it comes back up i would rather that be a straight line for me but that's a personal like that's a personal choice um not a 
uh, that's not a deal breaker. It still looks really good. Yeah, maybe push it up just a little bit. Maybe. Um, I don't know. Uh, that that is a good call. I I I don't know. Um. Yeah. Um. I don't know because it's for Twitch though. I don't know. That's a that's a good question. I actually hadn't even thought about that. Um. It might be worth like playing with the colors, making the the purple darker, if that's the case. Um. I mean, it is the Twitch font. Uh, maybe making everything all caps to, to get around that too. But yeah, I think that would be the thing is like, if you shift the text up. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, maybe pushing the, the, the text up just a little bit. Um, so that dip is there, but like it actually like, you know, you see the purpose of the dip, but that's the only, that's the only thing for me. And then again, yeah, but that's a, that's a good call Penthos. I didn't actually even think about that. Um, no, that, that's a, that's a very good call. Um, might be worth looking into. Um, but I like it overall, as far as a logo design, I think it looks really good. It's really clean. It's simple. Um, you know, it, everything like works really well. Um, you know what it is when you see it. Um, yeah, I think, I think this works great. I like the big text with the smaller uh, underneath. I think, uh, oh, you're not making money off it. Okay, yeah. Then I think I think you're good. Um, if I really break it down, if I really break it down, let me, let me just save this and open it up in Photoshop. Um, <laughs> might as well, right? <laughs> uh, might as well open it up in Photoshop. Uh, file open let me go to my folder here i gotta open up two things anyway um because i gotta i have a color reference that i'll need to pull from all right let's go ahead and open that um and yeah let's let's take a look um i would say i i mean i, I like this a lot um i think you know what i'm gonna do real quick Yeah. Yeah, that that might be that that's a pretty good call. Yeah. Um so let me let me just So there there's a couple things that would probably make this easier is like obviously doing a darker purple. Um I've got This is all centered, right? Whoops. Um I like maybe there'd be like just a tad bit more space like in these like here let me use a brighter color for this like for these eyes and like the T's but at the same time I kind of like it it reads really well I think you did a good job I think you did a really good job overall um I know I'm not the best graphic designer so um I like the amount of space that there is here I really do um I like the space here. Like I said, this space right here that I'm filling in kind of bugs me just a little bit, just because it's like it's a weird dip right there. Um, maybe just eliminating that altogether, like push the text down a little bit or push it up and make it more pronounced. Um, but I think, yeah, I like the rounded edges of the logo. Um, you know, and another easy way to maybe get past everything is to make this like white like do white and then have like a purple border around the twitch i don't know like obviously i'm free handing all of this too almost like a stroke around all that and in, in purple so it makes it stand out against the white there's so many things that you could do as far as like to get rid of like the copyright stuff all that good stuff um but overall i think this looks really good dude i do i really truly do it looks really really good so yeah, 
Uh, let me go back to this now. And then let me fix the thing that I wanted to fix real quick. <laughs> so many hands needed. Live adjustments. <laughs> there we go. There is that. Move some text around now. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to fix that, won't I? Uh, I'll just change it all back. It'll be fine. Go back. There we go. It's fine where it is for now. I'll fix it later. I just thought about it. I was looking at... Okay, so... I was looking at, like, when you're watching a stream and stuff, and um, you're looking at, uh, like when you're on Twitch, like I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but let me, let me show you. I'll, I'll just go to my page real quick. Um, and, uh, I was looking at this the other day being, you know, last night <laughs> being the other day. Uh, and, I was looking at this right here. Um, if you look at it up in the corner of like each video, there's a timestamp, you know, and it kind of blocks the face of the streamer. And I was like, oh, I should, I should mirror my stuff. So that way I'm over in like the right hand corner of the screen instead. Um, so that way when you're scrolling through, like you actually would see my face and not just, oh, hey, you know, <laughs> there's a timestamp of how long this person was live while I was doing the thing. But, you know, that's a, <laughs> that, that's a thing. Um, but yes, um, how's everybody? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, now that that's said, I think let's, let's get into actually drawing, shall we? Um, all right, let me face this way. Let me make sure. Let's start recording the process. Are we recording? Start recording. There we go. All right, I'm recording my Photoshop drawing for later. For later. And uh, let's work on this. So uh, for those of you who weren't here last time we were drawing, um, this is Grenz and Lose's character. Um, no. uh, this is Grenz and Lose's original character. <laughs> All right, Kimber Wolf, no worries, no worries. Hey, how you doing? 
Um, this is Grenz and Lowe's character, Josie. Um, she's an awesome, uh, you know, awesome, rough and tough, Wild West D&D character. The weird West, as it were. Um, we sketched out Josie um, last time we were drawing. And I went in and did a few changes. And I uh, went ahead and laid in the flats. And I really wanted to uh, continue to work on her live on stream while also recording for... Um, for YouTube and stuff too, so you guys can get like a full, like uh, time lapse of how everything went and everything. But yeah, um, I thought it would be fun to keep working on Josie uh, today. And yeah, uh, first of all, what I'm gonna do is establish a light source because I like to remind myself of where my light source is. Let me find the brush that I like to use. I like to use the Kyle's Paint Box Bristle Zero One. I think it has some nice texture to it. I think we're going to go with just a nice classic, like, light source, top right corner coming down. There we go. And then let's let's start jumping into um, this character, who I, I think is really, really cool. Um, I got to read the bio and stuff, and oh, my God. Yeah, she's just, she's a, she's a, she's a rough and tumble kind of badass, honestly. I mean, not even, like, kind of she is a badass and um i was exciting to to work on this character um and and be able to uh uh hopefully bring bring some life into it and so yeah as always um we've gotten a few more emails if you guys uh want your ocs drawn um if you guys have an original character that you want drawn uh live on stream uh send it to me okay <laughs> Hey, that works. All right, let's go ahead and let's zoom into this face here. Whoops. Nope, wrong way. Ah, too close. Too close. Photoshop, why are you being stupid? Don't be stupid, Photoshop. Are you going to be stupid today? I feel like you're going to be stupid. Yeah, I might have to restart Photoshop. Photoshop is being dumb. It does this sometimes. <laughs> All right, let me just restart Photoshop real quick. Sometimes, for some reason, whenever I start a stream, uh, it will, like, screw Photoshop up. Uh, like, when I start broadcasting it and stuff. I don't know why. It just does it. I have some usage guidelines to provide. Ref <laughs> or alter the Twitch brand assets in any way, such as changing the colors on it. Huh. Well, okay then. <clears throat> I'm also trying to mitigate the, 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 the hum from the tablet because I know that's a thing. Let me. Okay, now Photoshop's working. Um, and I'm trying to make sure that doesn't come through, you know, as much. So if I have to lean away from the mic and stuff, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, let's put our our light source back up here. There we go. <coughs> and then let's go back to that skin layer like we were. And we will go ahead and let's select that color. And let's go a little bit closer to red like we're supposed to and go a little bit darker. Now we'll zoom in here. There we go. All right. And let's go to our navigator so you guys can see too. All right. So let's just go ahead and start working in some of these shadows and stuff. Figure we'll have probably a pretty harsh light source. You know, this is the Wild West. There's, there's, you know, a lot of sunlight and stuff. A lot of harsh sun coming up. We'll probably do some, like, hard sun reflections and stuff. Let's go ahead and shadow in those eyes. Make sure we 
get under the nose here. Make sure we get under the lips here too. And there we go. Not the kind of music I would normally choose, but, uh, you know, for the stream. But uh, we're, you know, trying to make sure that we can throw these up on YouTube later, too, because we now have our backup account, if you guys haven't um, seen or subscribed to that yet. Our uh, imaginary backup jack. So if you miss a stream, you can always come and find it there. Um... And I have been working on uploading all of our old streams there too. Um, they usually go up within a week. Not uh, don't want to don't want to irritate the the old Twitch guards, you know. <laughs> and I think you have to wait like twenty four hours before you put it up somewhere else. So, um, <laughs> making sure that we follow those guidelines. Also, they're just you know they're huge. So. But they are unedited. You can see a full stream exactly the way it was. And yet. Okay, let's come in here. Let's work on some shadowing under the fingers. It's one of the fun things about this character too is like the outfit is really cool and I got to take a few liberties with designing the outfit here um, adding a few things I talked to grins and those about like I read the email that they sent um, which uh, you know is like a, a how I got all the information about this character and um, I got to like really come in and, and make a few choices and like do a few additions here and there um, to like the outfit and stuff. Not so much to the actual like character. Um, like a lot of the details and stuff, they obviously came from Grenz and those um, in an email that they sent. Um, but I was able to pull a lot of inspiration from that and then like figure out how their, co their costume would be um, based on you know that information and stuff so like i added in like the 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 neckerchief and stuff i added in like the vest uh the duster was um something that grins and had pointed out like they're always wearing their their custom duster um and then uh like like they they said oh they're always wearing pants too josie's always wearing pants and i was like okay josie's always wearing pants and like all the color choices and stuff like this was all me like coming up with like all right well thinking about the old west and stuff and if she's like rough and tumble and like thinking about like how things might appear there you know being able to blend in a little bit but not like i, I don't know it was, it was a fun kind of mix of being able to like come up with like some of these ideas and oops maybe that was too far Let's go back here with the color picker. Let's just go down a little bit more red. And of course, we keep going down t uh, closer to red when we do our skin because, as we know, there's blood under our skin. Um, and we, you know, we want to make sure that we uh, are representing that because, the you know, if you're pale like me or even, you know, doesn't matter what your skin tone is, uh, to, to have it make that kind of natural look that, you know, those natural gradients and the, the natural redness that comes under the tones, if you go closer to red on your, um, on your, uh, your color picker here and stuff, it, it, you know, it's, it's the warmth of that red blood and stuff that, that's flowing through all of us that, uh, gives us those darker tones and it helps the gradation of the skin look a little more natural, um, and helps it, uh, you know, just helps it helps it look a little more, um, 
a little less plastic. A lot of a lot of artists, digital artists and stuff, when they're doing skin tones and everything, they're like, "Why does my skin look plastic?" It's like, well, because you're not accounting for that. There's blood underneath that skin, and there's muscle and all of these things, and so it kind of gives you that plasticky look if you're not careful. So. And I don't know if we'll finish this drawing today. Um, you know, we have a lot of work to do still, but who knows how far we're going to get. If we end up finishing it, we'll also start on some other work because we've got other work to do too. Um, other art pieces that I want to do. I have, a, I have another art piece that I want to do on stream with you guys that is, um, I've been playing a lot of The Witcher 3 lately. Um, for those of you who <laughs> haven't been with me <laughs> while I gush about that game because I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I've been playing it off stream just on my PlayStation because, uh, you know, it's like my little relaxing game or whatever. And um, in the process, I thought it would be really funny because I have cats to do a um, <laughs> to do a picture of uh, Geralt. Uh, but as a as a mouse riding a cat, <laughs> I don't know why I thought it would be funny to do that, but. Like now, I kind of like I'm like I'm, I'm kind of I like this idea. We're gonna we're gonna draw the Witcher um, as a, a mouse riding a cat, you know, with his swords and everything. I just I feel like Geralt in the game. There's several times where he looks at cats, and it seems like he has a bit of a connection with them. Like you know, like he likes them. Uh, <laughs> and I'm like, Geralt doesn't like much, but he likes cats, and he likes us. You know, and I'm like that would be kind of cute to just do. Like his roach is is a cat, and he's the meowser. <laughs> Toss a cone to your meowser, oh valley of cheese, oh valley of cheese, oh. Yes, I do enjoy the Witcher TV show as well. I think uh, I think Henry Cavill does a wonderful job as Geralt of Rivia, and um. I'm excited for season two to come out. I heard a rumor. By a rumor, I mean my, my mother told me this the other day, and I hope it's not true that they canceled season two of The Witcher, or they canceled The Witcher altogether. And I was like, no, it was such a good show. <laughs> I've actually avoided reading the books until I was done with the game. Uh, because I don't want to spoil too much of the books in the show for myself. Because it seems like they're following the books pretty well. Um, and I know the game follows the books pretty well, too. Um, so I'm excited to see what Season 2 has to offer. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's going to be a, uh, a fun ride, you know? Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in some of the highlights while I'm thinking about them, too. So we'll go a little bit further up here. And we're gonna do like really harsh highlights too. So I'm thinking like, actually I might pull up some reference um, to some of the highlights that I'm really looking at doing. Like not blended out as much and stuff. Let me, let me go ahead and pull up some of those highlights. Let me go over to Pinterest here. Because I want to do some like dramatic lighting. Uh, Cause you know it's me. Um, let me try not to get sucked down the rabbit hole of Pinterest. Only save a couple of things. Speaking of Netflix shows, because we were talking about The Witcher, and um, I okay, so we watched. I don't know how many of you have, have watched it, but we watched season two of Love, Death, and Robots, uh, or Love, Death, Plus Robots, last night. And um, I got to I gotta say, I was kind of disappointed in season two. Like, we really loved season one. Season one of Love, Death, Plus Robots was really good. Like, really good. Um... I I, th I think it was 
it was like really hardcore sci-fi at times it was really hardcore uh like horror at times too um it was it was a really good show and i feel like season two kind of underwhelmed me a little bit um which is sad because i've been looking forward to it since the season one came out and they announced season two was coming it was also shorter um and, and i'll say the reason it felt disappointing like I, I don't say this without cause and i'm not gonna like spoil any of the you know any of the uh the shorts for you because that's what if for those of you who don't know love death plus robots is just a netflix show that it's all these like really highly animated um like cgi and sometimes 2d uh short films right and um it kind of falls in that theme it was like it's got to have love death and robots in each one in some some way shape form or fashion uh but and season one really ran with that idea right it really took off with the idea and it was really really polished and really good and all the films like seemed like they had like a mess not all of them but most of them felt like they had a really strong message behind them in in season one and like some of them were just like they blew gray and i away right um like absolutely blew us out of the water like we, we didn't know what to expect but we weren't expecting that kind of thing and um season two they're all very well animated and they're very pretty some of them i was like is that a real person like the animation was so so good and so clean and so just oh it was so good um but none of them blew us away like in season one like none of them were really like how do i close an email in english uh i usually just say um thank you for your time sincerely then my name or like i'll do like you know thank you for your time or in consideration best uh you know stuff like that i it, it's usually like a it's, it's usually just like a hey you know thank you for your time or something like that or uh, I'm, I'm assuming this is your twitch email that you're sending out in to to check um yeah i would i would just be like you know thank you sincerely so and so um you know and something kind of like that i think would would be a good idea Just so I can see the bigger version of it, because the navigator is great for you guys, but for me, it's uh, it's a little smaller than I would like for my reference. Another really cool thing about this character that I I'm enjoying working on is the fact that this character is younger. I, I usually, like, when I'm just kind of free-drawing characters, I, I end up tending to draw characters who are, you know, roughly... Yeah, something like that would work. Um, best regards, sincerely. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a good way to do it. Um, but I tend to draw characters who are roughly, you know, my age or, you know, maybe a little older, um, a little more experienced, you know. Um, yeah, very respectfully is, a, is another one. That works really well. Um, but, uh, yeah. So so doing something kind of like... Uh, doing a character who's a bit younger and um, has, you know, 
maybe not grown into like all their features and stuff yet because this character is only like 15 i think is is the the age um uh and yet she's had like this really hard life too which is another really fun thing to to work with is like like as i do the painting and stuff like like i said this character is rough and tumble she's she's been in the thick of it she's uh you know she's she's done stuff she's adventured she's you know ah you know it's 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 gritty it's real it's it's you know so she's not gonna be like all all dolled up like i'm gonna make sure like she's gonna have like some some like dirt flecks and stuff on the face and stuff um i just want to get all my base tones in here of course too. make sure we get go I think let's go in here let's take this color let's go really bright with it right let's do like Almost like the light is really shining on these these areas. And we'll soften the edges a bit, but we're not gonna like blend them in, blend them in, you know. Not like we're doing with the darker patches and stuff. And of course, when we go to do our uh, line art and stuff, that'll help out a lot too. Maybe actually, let's add like kind of this situation going on. Find the right tool here. do it like right up against a dark area too might be the wrong tone of skin um but we'll see we'll see how it works with everything else all right message sent we'll see what they say hopefully something good right Let's come back to our darker color now. Let's really darken in where these shadows would be kind of coming in. We might even go darker later. See how the rest of the jacket and stuff and the eyes and everything plays out. Fingers crossed. Fingers are crossed. Hey, that's all you can do, right? It's like you hope for the best. Um, you know, you, you put it out there, you try, and you hope. That's all you can do, you know, and that's okay. Like, there's no harm in trying, and, you know, I know it's a little cliche to say that the, the worst thing they can say is no, and no is hard. Hey, yes, uh, thank you for the raid. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, everybody, if you don't already, go check out Yesa as well. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. It was very sweet of you. I know Tuesdays are your day, too. Hopefully I started late enough <laughs> um, that I didn't uh, didn't pull too much from you. <laughs> um, 
But no, uh, did you have a good stream? Well, hello there. Generally, yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's late. <laughs> good. I'm glad you had fun. I saw you guys were playing Raft earlier. I uh, I checked it just before I went into my therapy appointment. I was like, oh, hey, they're playing Raft. Nice. Well, I hope you guys had fun with it. <laughs> it's a fun game, isn't it? It's really fun. I enjoy Raft quite a bit. Quite a bit, I say. Quite a bit, I say. <laughs> yes. Quite a bit. <laughs> I don't know what that voice is, but... <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. No, I'm glad you guys had fun with it today too. <laughs> oh, and welcome everyone. Welcome. Yes. I hope you're I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the stream. We are working on some community integ or not community integration. Um community uh art only 50 percent though only 50 percent more <laughs> we can't have too much fun can we maybe some some light flex getting in here too Maybe dulled down a little bit more because of the sun or the hair. There's some patches of some light coming through. There we go. Anywhere the sun could hit through the hair. There we go. Show us what you made so far. Oh, um, so this is. Uh, this is Grenz and Lowe's character. We started sketching um, Josie out uh, last art stream. A, a vacation job. What does that mean? That sounds fun. Uh, but this is, yeah, this is Josie. Um, I laid in the flats off screen. Um, this is the reason I asked everybody for, uh, if you have a community OC, to email it to me. Um, and yeah, uh, so Grins and Loses was the, the first one. Hey, Kelzaba, how are you? Um, it was the first one in the random drawing. And uh, so now we are actually working on coloring um, and, and painting. And we're doing a more dramatic lighting style. One month of work without paying the taxes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, that sounds too good to be true. <laughs> um, it sounds like contract work. Uh um, but that's cool. Well, if you decide to take it, I wish you, I wish you all the luck. Um, but yes, uh, so we are, we are working on Grenz and Lowe's character, Josie. Um, working on some more dramatic lighting and stuff. She's a rough and tumble character. Um, so we are, we're playing with a few, few ideas here. Um, don't know if we'll stick with all of it. Um, you know, trying not to blend too much. Oh, that's okay. Oh, well, thank you for being here, Kelzaba. And of course, get some food. Get some yummy, yummy food. Um, thank you for being here. We we never mind having lurkers. Lurkers are great, you know. And I, I'm always glad to 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 be that for somebody too. Just background noise, you know. I am totally always down for that. Um, let me go ahead and add this light up here too. I think it would be better to have more lighting. Um, yeah, of course. Thank you for, thank you for your support. I truly, truly appreciate it. Appreciate everybody who's here, especially because, you know, this is a new time for us. This is, uh, you know, this is different from what we normally do. We're adding more hours in on the stream. Um, so I really appreciate everybody who's here. I'm excited to have you all here. Um, this is absolutely wonderful. Uh, so thank you all so, so very much for being here. And uh, thank you for hanging out and chatting with me while I work. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right. 
I don't know that I necessarily am in love with the way that highlight is turning out, but I'm going to leave it for now because that's the thing is sometimes you do stuff and it doesn't look good at first. Um, but by working on some of the rest of it, it actually ends up looking exactly like you like. Nothing's ever perfect when you first start out. It all takes work, right? So I'm actually going to go in and add some darker shadows here. And of course, to do that, we're going to get a color that's closer to red as we do. Let's come in here. We got a smaller brush. Let's really get in here. Let's really make some dark shadows and stuff, some contrast in here. Um, and of course, when we paint our line art and stuff too, that's going to really help. I feel like I am a million miles away from my camera. So I'm going to come here <laughs> and try not to be a million miles away from the canvas. Um, here we go. Maybe this will be better. Maybe this will be better. And hopefully we don't get too much of that hiss that the tablet causes with the microphone, you know. Um, oh, this does feel better already. It does feel a little better already, which is good. Um, let's really, let's sink in these eyes a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Oh, there we go. probably sink in she's got rounder cheeks but um might sink them in a little bit too let's really harshen up some of these shadows too let's let's actually add a lot of dark under here I mean this is this is harsh sunlight it's high noon you know keep in mind though that on this like the back of the neck and stuff there's no hair and so sunlight you know we're we're three-dimensional. It's going to round around us. There might even be a bit of a highlight in some of this area, too. Um, we'll hold off on that for now. But we really want to... There we go. Let's add some of that in. Get it under the lip there. Really give some definition to the lips, too. You know? And let's actually go back to this color. Let's get in here let's add a little bit of cheek let's oh did I there we go let's let's make sure our opacity and stuff is on too I don't really use smoothing all that much but I do use the opacity So that way it helps with my pen pressure and stuff. And we'll blend this out as we go too. There we go. Let's go ahead and work on blending some of this out now, actually. There we go. And as always, like I tell everybody, I'm not the end all be all of art. I just am doing this because this is what I love to do. Um, if you guys have your ways of doing things, that's totally fine. I encourage you all to draw along with me, too, um, if you feel so inclined, or work on anything creative while you're watching. I totally appreciate you being here, and I totally, totally encourage you to, as m you know, much as you can, you know, if you're in a place to draw or create, let's do it. Oh, sweet. I will put it. Um, there's a few people ahead of you. I think Stereo's ahead of you and, like, one other one. And then your character would be next to draw on stream. Um, so, yes. Uh, we started off with a random drawing, uh, to see who would go first. Because I got a couple of emails all at the same time. Uh, but now, we'll want to make sure that we're going as they come in. So, thank you, though. I am very excited. Yeah, if you guys have a character that you would like to see me draw on uh, on stream, you can send your email to jack at imaginarywebsitejack.com. Thank you uh, to 
JJ again for hooking that up as well. There's also a link in my bio um, on Twitch that you could send it to as well um, to, to make it a little easier. You can click there. Um, but yes, I'm, I'm super excited. Uh, I will make sure to uh, let you know that I've gotten your email if I don't say it here on stream or if I, uh, you know, um, then I will definitely email you back. Um, I'm excited. Uh, I also just love the idea of learning about your characters. Like you guys, like that's that's the that's the the coolest thing about this to me is that I get to learn about y'all's characters, like the people that the characters that you guys came up with, and the characters that you love. You know that is such a cool thing to me. Like seeing the characters that that my community comes up with. And, and, and like you know you invest these t like the time in these characters like this character Grenz and Lose's character is somebody that she spends so much time with because this is a D&D &D character and if you've ever played D&D &D, you know that characters you know especially characters you love like they, they 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 become more than just uh you know words on a page they become this part of you I don't know how to describe it other than that it's like they, they just become an extension of you and and so being able to help bring these characters to life is such a cool thing um, you know I'm not the greatest when it comes to commissions oh me too I want to play again I love d and I truly truly do it's such a fun fun game and, and you know it it's made even better when the people around you really like it too um so i you know you'll you'll be able to find a community to do it um I, I i know you will and i'm i'm excited for you to to get the opportunity to do so um it's definitely a hard game to play uh you know if you don't have a lot of time because oh boy some campaigns they can get um there's a couple places uh um roll 20 I think is the uh, is is the website. Uh, Roll Twenty is a great online community of players. Um, there's a bunch of streamers who also stream D and D games and stuff, and um, like their communities and stuff have a really good, uh, um, you know, like outreach and stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of places that you could you could look to uh, to find it, and um, yeah, uh, it's it's one of those things of like there's a lot more people you than you think there's probably a lot of people you know who'd be interested in starting a game um than you would expect um you know some people especially now like D&D is becoming kind of like a pop culture thing where it used to be like kind of in the shadows it's now very much like in the pop culture and stuff which is really cool um you know, something that people used to get made fun of for, like, oh, you play D and D, oh, you're a nerd. You know, is now like, oh yeah, I want to, I want to play D and D. D sounds fun. Like, and that's the other great thing about it is like, there's no right or wrong way to play D and D in my mind. Like, you can play exactly by like the way the the books tell you and the campaign guides and stuff go, um, or you can make your own homebrew. Uh, that's what we do a lot is a lot of homebrew stories like we take the base rules and we play a version of D, &D like and, and we we build our own stories and our own worlds and stuff and like that's so fun to me i absolutely love doing stuff like that and uh you know and i encourage everybody who you know who's never done a homebrew which is very rare um but if they've never done a homebrew to do a homebrew it's it's so cool you know it's so fun <laughs> no worries no worries um but yeah and and, and so yeah I, I would definitely recommend like just ask 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 around your friend group and stuff like hey has anybody heard of D, &D? do you guys want to play this like try this out with me and i you'll be surprised you will be surprised at how many people i'm like will be like yeah let's do this um you know uh stereo plays D, D on sunday nights uh at least i think they're still playing i don't know if they stream it or not i can't remember um but they he 
Stereo does play D and D, and so that's another person um, to, to who can like give you some like outreach, and he probably knows more than I do. <laughs> right as we were talking about you too. <laughs> oh, you don't stream it? Okay, yeah. Um, but you might know some better resources because Yessa was wondering where they could find a, a D and D community, and I I mentioned Roll Twenty. I think that's the name of it. Hmm. But uh, not a hundred percent sure if that's correct. Uh, I know it has twenty in the name because D twenty. Uh, but yeah, like the, I uh, I don't know if you. <laughs> oh, you rolled a nineteen. Nice. <laughs> it's a good number. It's a good number. That's hard to beat. Almost a nat twenty. Almost a nat twenty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody roll a d20 for me in, in the chat if you don't mind and see what I get <laughs> but yeah true true um, but r the, the reason I, I brought up roll 20 is that's a great online community uh, of players so you can um, I got a <laughs> I got a 7 <laughs> um it's like a good online community uh, and, and a place to find like online games and stuff and find games for like beginners and stuff. And um, yeah, again, I, I, I don't know of any, like I'm sure there are, but like I love D&D uh, &D Beyond. Oh, there you go. There you go. Um, I, I, I just love the D&D &D community because usually it's very open and like people really how do, how do I put it? Like the, just people are usually really welcoming and, um, you know, it's, it's such a great thing. Do a D and D stream. Oh my God. I'd have to find some people, uh, to do uh, a D and D game with. Um, and would you want me to play or would you want me to be the DM? Cause, uh, either way, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> um, <laughs> cause I haven't really ever DM'd. I think I could DM, but I've just never really done it. <laughs> Um, I wouldn't mind doing a D and D stream one day though. That would be fun. I I I, I could see having a lot of fun with D and D streams. Um, and uh, <laughs> I'm not opposed to it by any means. I just have to find a find a group that could all do it around the same time. Cause that's that's the hardest thing about D and D. Uh, at least for me, is finding people who could do it all at the same time and like. Um, especially like if you have an ongoing adventure, Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Uh, I mean the, I feel like the, um, <laughs> the kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The basic, uh, thing to say is like, oh, you should check out, uh, you should check out, uh, Critical Role. Um, you know, and Matthew Mercer and all of them like that is Matthew Mercer. Matt Mercer is a great DM. Uh, yeah, but it's a tabletop role playing game. Um, you know, you embody a character, you play as that character. Um, you you know, bring them to life, you play them a certain way. Um uh, Yeah, he is. He is. Uh you know, and you uh you it's an adventure game, you know, and, and one person tells the story kind of and you guys act out the story. Um, you know, your dungeon master, game master. Um uh, it's so fun. It's so fun. Um, I love playing. And again, that's the greatest thing about it to me is the fact that you create the character and you help create the world. And, you know, all the pieces get set, but like you through your actions could totally derail any type of like planning that your uh, your dungeon master sets um, like and they have to think on the fly. But, you know, if they're a good DM, they can. Uh you know, and it, it's just, it's so fun. Um, some people just become murder hobos, you know, in the game. Some people become, like, super peaceful. It, you never really know how a D&D &D game will turn out um, because there's so many avenues and there's so many ways that it could play out. Um, there's so many adventures to go on. Homebrewing, like I said, is wonderful. I, I've, I've played a lot of great homebrews. Um gray and i were doing a homebrew with some friends a while back um and gray was our dm and oh it was so good gray's such a great storyteller um it, it's, it's a really fun way to 
just come together as a group of friends and you know it can get wild it can get real wild but at the same time like it can also just be like a super fun like tame adventure or it could be like like this one like the one that we're working on Grenzelnose's character is uh from the weird west you know um is a wild west themed D&D campaign that you know oh, it's such a cool idea like you can have characters from anywhere you know in the world and um i love it i love it so much and i'm excited to get to draw grins and loses oc and, and hopefully i'm doing josie justice um <laughs> i'm trying to with this character specifically i'm trying to strike a a very um you know a very uh unique balance in that i am trying to make sure that the character looks young but also is like growing into maturity because the character is about 15 right and so you think about teenagers like it's like they're, they're starting to look like adults they're starting to look like people um there goes my camera turning that back on and there we go <coughs> they're starting to look like people and um <laughs> you know even though they always look like people you know just because they're kids doesn't mean they're not people but they're really starting to embody like people right like that who they're gonna look like as an adult right uh you know at least for you know in their 20s and stuff until they get into their like 30s and 40s because we're constantly our faces are changing and stuff like and um that's one of the cool things about like doing a teenage character like this is like you have to balance out like well maybe they still have baby you know you know how babies have like chubby cheeks and stuff and you have what they call baby face or you know um, baby fat on your, your face and stuff like do they still have that like this character I kind of imagine that she's still got those rounder cheeks um, but she is starting to hollow out you know she's starting to get like that the longer face and you know some of that is you know she's growing um, hubba hubba that feels weird to say after all of that description on this character <laughs> and the character being so young but uh, <laughs> uh, but you know those two aren't correlated <laughs> um but yeah and, and so getting to play with that mentality and like you know making the character a little lankier than um you know she might normally be because uh she's just hit a growth spurt or something like that you know there's uh, a lot of really cool things to consider when you're doing a character who is younger um and i'm i'm having a lot of fun with it and that was she was really fun to come up with like um her <clears throat> their <laughs> no <laughs> no <laughs> no <laughs> um but yeah and, and so like just being able to come up with this character and 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 have some fun in the creative process let me get some more of this like darker color right here um for around the hands and i'll go ahead and zoom in this way so it's a little easier on everybody's eyes um but yeah just being able to uh to really have some fun and, and play with character design and stuff is has been really nice um I'm also trying some new painting techniques and stuff, trying to make the character come to life in a really cool, unique way. Let me go back to my navigator so you guys can see the bigger picture all the time. I keep forgetting about that because the navigator is a new tool for me. I have not really used it all that much. It's been there forever. I just haven't used it. <clears throat> but the left side of Photoshop barely cut off. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I do know. <laughs> um, yeah, I can I can adjust that in a bit too um it's always kind of been a little cut off like that um because photoshop on my tablet isn't a perfect uh, 1920 by 1080 and since that's what i'm mirroring to you guys like i'm showing you guys what's going on on my tablet um it, it, it's just slightly off um i figured the image was more important than the tools <laughs> you know um because I can always tell you guys what tools I'm working with. Sorry, I just sniffled into the uh, the mic there. Um, but yeah, I figured, if, you know, I can always like be like, oh yeah, I'm using this. But there we 
go. There we go. And then, um, actually, you know what I need to do is kind of find my very base tone in here. Just go a little bit lighter than the very base tone. Let's go back to our navigator. And add in those fingernails. And of course we will do the line art and stuff around to get rid of the, the black lines because I don't like the I don't like the lines. <clears throat> you know. That's just that's just me though. I don't really like uh I, I, I love line art. I do. And I love people who can do it well, but I feel like with my art style, it, it just is so much better to to have um not like you to just not see the lines, like to paint over the lines I think is 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 better for my art style specifically. Um I think it looks better. Um, to me at least, you know, and I could be wrong. Some people could really love it, you know, and that that's totally cool totally valid um i just personally like i like to color over my line art and stuff i think it, it adds something kind of cool and unique um i think i should add some more highlight to the nose actually now that i think about it so let's come back over here let's grab this color let's go back to our navigator so we have the two to switch from let's actually go in and add just a little bit of highlight here. Not a lot, but just some more definition to this nose. Um, something we can smudge out like this. I love the smudge tool for blending and stuff. I think it's really fun. But I think if this is such a harsh shat, like highlight right here, then the nose would have that too, you know? So not so much the underside of the nose. I actually it should probably be darker, that underside. Um, so let's go. Let's come back. Let's actually add in some of that darker color right here. And then we'll kind of blend those two together. There we go. Something kind of like that. Yeah, give it a little bit more definition. Okay. <coughs> So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my darkest color, which is here. And I'm going to go just a little bit darker. And I'm going to find my brightest color, which is here. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to keep that one right about where it is. Go back to my navigator, go up to my line art, take my brush. And let me come back to my colors for this one because we are going to just start painting over that those lines and see I didn't get bright enough so let's go here there we go. oh yeah I see in the, in the in the big picture in the navigator I don't know if you guys can see all that well but it's really adding that highlight effect to it, um, which is really nice. And then I'm actually gonna, gonna find a little bit, make that look like a little bit more natural of an edge. There we go. So I only want that in the brightest spots. Go ahead and blend that out too. Switch colors. Let's come over here to like the really dark spots. There we go. Makes that cheek look really kind of filled in. There we go. Let's come in here. Let's actually go a little bit darker and let's actually lower our brush. 
Maybe we can't. We gotta stick on the two. For in here, for these folds in the eye, I wanna really add that darkness in there so we don't lose that fold. There we go. But we don't wanna like lose the eyelashes either, so. Um, so I'm gonna come back to this one. Earlobe. <laughs> it's a great thing about skin layers too, is it's at the bottom, so you know other things will eventually come over and cover some of this. But for now, I want to make sure that we get it nice and covered. Make sure it looks right. We don't lose anything when we do this, because you know you work hard on the base and you build up from there, right? <laughs> um, let's go ahead and don't really have another super bright spot, so let's come in here, give it kind of a natural tone to it. There we go. And again, see what I kind of mean on like that outer edge here? You know, there's light that's gonna come around here. So, you know, you look at it, it's just gonna have light coming around the back because we're three dimensional, you know, it's like drawing a sphere. Um, it is very, very much a, uh, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a, uh, uh, you know, you have to think about like how light wraps around. Yeah, and from a distance, this looks pretty good. I know we're using the dark color on a light section, but remember that there's only so much highlight that's going to reach over here because of the way that she has shifted. You see how we've got like, some of these parts that we missed here or that got colored over by accident. So this is a good time for us to remember that and we can just go in and fix it real quick. So that way in the, the final render, you don't have these weird little like patches of whatever, you know, even though in the big picture, like even though like keep your eye on that, that finger in the big picture, you don't see that at all. But, you know, if I were going to print this out and I, I want somebody to be able to look at it forever, I want to go in and fix that because I'm going to know, you know. And, you know, maybe it's a detail that nobody's going to care about, but I care about it. Um, and if I'm going to, you know, give this to somebody as a gift or something, then I'm going to make sure that they, you know, have as perfect as a drawing as I can get it. No drawing is ever perfect, you know. And I think anybody who, you know, says their drawing is perfect, they have obviously, like, spent a lot of time away from said drawing because um, I don't know any artist who thinks, ah, oh, yes, my work is perfect all the time. Um, <laughs> personally, you know, there, there could be some, there could be some, I, I don't know. I don't know. There could be some people who are like that, but, um, none that I've met, none that I have met. There we go. Let's add that. Well, actually, let's go back down just a little bit. There we go. Get a more natural nail, but she doesn't have any nail polish or anything on. Not, th not that she, she couldn't wear it. She probably does at times, but for right now, she just doesn't. She's been out on the. She's been out on the road and stuff. She's been she's been riding the trails and stuff. All right, so this looks like it's my belt layer. Yep. Let's go here. Let's come in and let's erase some of that. Whoops! Too much. Too much. There we go. Lock that back down. All right, that's much better. That's much better. All right, let's go ahead and go in and work on the eyes next, shall we? Eyes are always one of my... Oh, I forgot to do the nose. I forgot to do the nose. Bad Jack. Forgot to do the nose. Gotta make sure to do the nose. So she gave it that darker color again. This little line goes by the other one. There we go. There we go. Alrighty. Now let's do the eyes. I like doing the eyes after I do the skin. I, 
think the eyes are one of the parts where I, I know I've said this before, but one of the parts where the character really starts to come to life the most. Um, and for these eyes, we actually don't have to come up with a color. Um, Grenz and Lowe's told us exactly what color they were. And so I went online and found a bit of a, I found a color that I think would work as a good base tone for what we're going to be working with today. sure we don't miss any spots. There we go. Come up here. All right. Let's go ahead and open up our reference. We have our steel blue. Sweet. Email has been sent. I'm excited. Let's go ahead and start with this color. <laughs> well, I am excited to take a look here uh, after the stream. So it's important when we're doing this piece to look at our bigger reference too. You know, I'll pull up the navigator real quick. Um, since I don't have the second monitor uh, screen pulled up. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm always happy to. Why is After Effects opening? After Effects should not be opening, and I don't know why it is, but it wants to. Um, but anyway, so what I'm looking for in my bigger reference here is. D, D character never got the opportunity. Nice. There you go. Um, maybe I accidentally clicked the After Effects. But what I'm looking for in um, the bigger picture is does the eye like actually look round? Or did I, you know, make it too oval? You know, like does the pupil actually look um, and the iris and everything actually look like round like it belongs here? Um, so there we go. Um, alrighty. And let's go up just a tad bit and over just a tad bit. Oh, I'm excited to read it, Yasa. Um, let's go up a little bit more too. There we go. Now let's go back to our color. And actually let's come over here and let's just pick this color and then we're actually going to go ahead and go straight to black because we are going to add in the pupil now and the other thing i'm looking for in the bigger references did i make it look like this character is looking the right way or did i make them look cross-eyed <laughs> or you know kind of silly or something you know or like i don't want their eyes to go unless that's the character i don't want their eyes to go in two separate directions you know um so far it looks like this one is going well all right let's actually i want a bit brighter of blue let's do this as the darker tone of the blue okay so whoops um this i'm going to actually change my brush for i'm going to just go back to a regular um Um, sorry, I got lost, uh, soft round pressure size, uh, is shape dynamics turned on on this one? It is, cool. <laughs> I mean, that works, right? Um, sometimes, sometimes it's fun, sometimes, um, and then I'm gonna start coming in here like this let's come over here there we go let's go darker now and 
adding texture and stuff to these eyes. There we go. Get one shade darker even, very lightly. And then I'm gonna come back in with brighter colors and do the same thing, but I'm gonna find maybe the one of the, the second brightest, some place to look to go up from. I never use like straight white or straight um, black or anything like that. I always try to make sure that, you know, there is room to move. Thinking about where the lights are going to be hitting. Let's go even brighter for these. I don't really see it too much in the big version. There we go. That's better. Let's go even brighter for these highlights. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm really starting to see it. Let's go ahead and add some of these flecks in here, some of the brighter highlights. And then let's go very bright towards white, but not 100%, you know, to add in a few more. Let's add in maybe a catch light right here, and a catch light right here. You know, make them a little bigger. Perfect. And those eyes are looking really good in the bigger picture here. Um, but we're not done yet. We're not done with the eyes just yet, obviously. We gotta come over here. Let's lock both these layers down. Let's come up here. Let's choose our our um, the whites of our eyes and then let's go darker. Because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come in here and add some gray because our eyes actually do cast a small shadow. Now, I am keeping in mind that where my light source is coming from, this side's gonna be a little bit brighter. You know, it won't be as dark as over here. There we go. I like to do a full rounded edge there. And I come in and I smooth that out, and we'll probably even go a shade darker too. Let's go ahead and go couple shades darker actually. Add in some more shadow. I don't know where these where our eyelids sit and stuff. There we go. Let's come back over here. Let's let's go ahead and darken up right here here there we go and then one last touch here we're going to unlock this layer we're going to come over to a red and you remember what i said about the fact that we have blood and stuff in our underneath our skin we're going to add in you know where our tear ducts are it's a little red you know there we go bye Essa. thanks for hanging out with us all right, and then let's take these, let's merge them together, and we have our eye layer. Now if we come back out, those eyes look really cool. All right, we're actually going to come in here and to our line art, and I'm actually going to take out a little bit of some of these. There we go, these thicker lines. Have a good night. Yeah, thanks for popping over, and thank you again for the raid. I'm glad you had fun playing Raft today. Um lock down our line art layer and we're gonna find this dark color again and let's come in here and let's do that lower lid go ahead and there we go make it look like you know this is actually part of the eye and 
that's the other thing that I need to do too. There we go. Let's come in here. Let's pick our the darkest blue we can find. Go even darker over here. And then color in those dark spots here too. Make those look like they are part of the eye. There we go. And there we go. She's starting to come together. There we go. Going to save all this real quick. All righty. Um, let's actually start working on... It's crazy, but let's start working on the coat next. The coat is going to take a long time to do. Not because of, you know, it, it just because of all the reflections and stuff that... Oh, but real quick, while I'm thinking about it, too. Let's come back down here to the skin layer. Let's unlock this. Let's come in here. Let's take our, our smudge brush, and let's just smudge out some of these lines just a little bit. Make them blend just a little bit more, just a little bit more naturally. Help them disappear so don't have those weird edges and stuff, you know. There we go can lock that back in. All right, now let's start working on that coat. All right. So, the jacket. All right, let's get in here. Let's take our dark color. Let's go even darker. Let's make sure we get back to the brush that we were supposed to be using, though, um, which is our, again, our Kyle's Bristle 1 shrink that down and we're gonna have a lot of fun with this so let's go ahead and start establishing some shadows shall we let's get small let's, you know I have some guiding lines here I have some things that um, you know to help but I'm really only using those as a starting point we're gonna do a lot of fun texture and stuff with this coat um, you know, lots of lots of darks, lots of lights. We're gonna we're gonna create a lot of folds, like especially on um, this second sleeve where it's a little straighter down. You know, there's still folds in this, even though it's a straight sleeve. There's still gonna be folds. There's gonna be divots in the material and stuff like that. And so um, we're gonna we're gonna have some fun creating some of that. We're also gonna create our shadows in here too. Just go ahead and darken up the inside of this coat where there's not a lot of light coming through. You know, thinking about where our light is falling, thinking about you know, how close is our light source to you know, our subject. If it's strong enough to be casting that much of uh, light on her, um, you know, on her cheek and stuff, does that mean it's close enough to um, you know, cause really deep shadows and stuff on, on the jacket. Just think about that. That's a raised edge right there. Let's come on. Let's come on here. Let's, let's do like a little bit of a divot here. There we go. You know. And what's great is we're not having to really dip too much into you know, a lot of a lot of different colors. We can really do this with like three or four different tones. And that's really all we need. And that's what's cool. There we go. Thinking again about where our light is hitting. I mean, look at that already. Like that looks like it looks really good so far. You know? Here we got like a divot here. There we go. Same thing here. Kind of like maybe some some divots in this. Um, we got the inside of the the lapel kind of coming in here, where it's rounding a little bit. We got this little fold right here. There we go. Oh yeah, we're having some fun. We got all of this 
here that's going to be in shadow because of where the light is hitting it. Oh, we're thinking like her neck comes over here too. So this is going to kind of be in shadow. But it's still the lights coming around on the back too. There we go. Shadow is going to extend out this way too. There we go. Make sure we get this nice and in shadow. Most of this is going to be in shadow. But we still have that light coming around on the back there too. Who that is. There we go. Oh, there goes the camera. Must have been 30 minutes. <laughs> I have been trying to fix that. I, If anybody has any tips on how to get a Canon 5D Mark III to not auto off like that while you're streaming, I've downloaded the Canon utility. I have done... I've disabled the auto off feature. I have done everything I can think of to make it to where that doesn't happen and yet it's still happening. So if anybody has any suggestions out there for that, I would be very appreciative. Um, you know, there we go. Let's come in here make sure that we got a lot of shadow on this side. It's the farthest away. And then some like a little divot here. And we got some divots kind of coming up here, maybe. Thinking about where the cloth is falling. We have kind of like a nice little bit right here. Maybe some shadow coming up. There we go. raised edges and stuff there we go definitely have a lot of shadow coming off of this guy too thinking about how it's raised up off the there we go kind of come in here oh almost missed a spot right there are almost kind of connected. Maybe add some in right here too. Some divots here. And see how we've already started to create texture and folds and stuff. And we didn't have to do a bunch of like lines and stuff too in order to get that. And that's what's really cool. Um, and that's what's exciting about art and painting and, and, and thinking about your light and stuff like that. Like, oh yeah, it's so fun. It is so fun. Let me add a little bit more to this guy. Maybe add another one kind of coming in here. If you think about it, there might be another divot kind of coming in this way because of how we're starting to fold up right here. It kind of comes like that. There we go. Maybe some, some divots coming off of here. Just some little, little spots where like the, the material has folded just slightly. Coming in here. And we did that all with one color. You know, and now we can go just a little bit darker. Come back to our navigator. Let's really zoom in here. Let's get our brush smaller. Let's really start to differentiate in some of those shadows. And we even have divots in those shadows too. That's what's cool. You know. 
This is what's going to help bring us some depth into the... Whoops, too overzealous there. You know, there are lines for a reason, imaginary friend Jack. There are lines for a reason. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, maybe we go just a little bit darker, too. Not... We don't want to go straight to black, but we do want to add some darkness in there. There we go. I feel like I have migrated away from my canvas again, as I tend to do. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a quick save. There we go. Get some of that darker in there. All righty. Let's go here. Character animators trying to open now. I didn't click anything like that. Why are all these Adobe products trying to open? That's so weird. There we go. That's so strange. I don't know why any of that is trying to open in the background. There we go. There's that some of that get some of that in there some of that in there too there we go here we go here we go here we go here we go now oh and you know what i i forgot to do i forgot this still exists this arm belt still exists <laughs> just because just because it's on top of here does not mean it doesn't exist There we go. Let's paint some of this there. There we go. All right. So let's come up here with that. I don't know why, but I just really got a craving for fish. I might have to make some fish tonight. That sounds delicious. I don't know. Anybody else craving food? Like, and what food are you craving right now? If you are craving food, what food are you craving? I had some really good pulled pork yesterday, but unfortunately the barbecue sauce just had way too much sugar in it for me. And it tore my stomach up, unfortunately. It was it was sad because it was really good pulled pork. It was good. It was a pulled pork sandwich. It was so good, so good. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but it was so good. Such a good pulled pork sandwich. Such a good pulled pork sandwich. But it just you know it just it did not no did not did not agree with me. You know, it is what it is. But <laughs> um, all right, let's come back over here. But yeah, what foods are you guys craving right now? What's your favorite food? Oh, yes, I asked me that the other day, what my favorite food was, or what I thought the best food was. And I have to...
to say I am such a sushi fan. I love, love, love a good sushi. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Sushi is... <sighs> Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss sushi. Sushi is divine. To me. I know it's not everybody's favorite thing. You know. But I, I am a sushi fiend. Fiend, I say. Fiend. I'm a sushi fanatic. Love me some sushi. There we go. I'll take a quick sip of my beverage. Mmm. Agua. So good. All right. So we've got some good texture going. Let's start going the opposite way now. Start working on some of the highlights. Making these spots look like kind of worn down too, right? There we go. around the elbows and stuff gets really worn out. It's where we bend a lot of, you know. There we go. Kind of following that fold around. As we get closer, you know, it gets bigger here. Actually, let's let's go back on that. Let's actually put like the brightest spot like right in here on this belt. Yeah. Kind of like a something kind of like that going on. And then let's actually let's let's work on blending some of this out. Let's see how it looks once we've like blended some of it out, you know? I love the smudge tool. I truly, truly do. There we go. That cool. There we go. Trying not to over blend. Sometimes you can over blend and make things too smooth. You know, you want to. Brush strokes aren't inherently a bad thing to see in a in a work of art, or in a in a a piece that you're drawing. You know, especially with digital art. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you want like super smooth, like no brush strokes, super gradient. You know. Um, but sometimes, you know, having that texture there isn't bad at all. You know, and it, it just kind of creates something unique. So, you know, we're trying to find that balance on our blend of do we want to over blend, do we want to under blend, you know in certain areas to make it look a little bit more natural. I always try to kind of start with like a light blend and then as I look at my bigger picture up here, you know, maybe I'll come in and blend a little bit more. Maybe this was too dark right here. So adding in some light to it and then it makes it look like a really good natural fold. You know, start off light because you can always add more, right? You can always do more. Um, 
but you don't want to you don't want to go too hard too soon you know that's why like i say you never want to just go straight to you never want to use straight black or straight white or like the the brightest saturation or unsaturated colors you know you want to find you really want to work with those mids you know to to really you know, be able to move one direction or the other um <clears throat> you know adjust check my posture and stuff like that there we go bring some of these highlights out into here too make it look a little bit more there we go come back up in my navigator so you guys can see where i'm working on the big drawing A little overzealous there. Let's back it up. Try that again. That's, you know, working with a locked layer. Sometimes that happens. There we go. This is looking pretty good so far. some of those darker colors in here but not lose those mid-tones either look at that look at that how look that's kind of looking that's looking like folds of a jacket right and so like you know gradiate or you know you got your other textures out here Got your lighter spots, your darker spots. You're really playing with that light and shadow. That's all it really is. That's how you create depth: is light and shadow. You know, that's how we turn something that literally, like, this is two dimensional. This is n nothing. You know, this is all digital. It's not even pen and paper, but we're turning it into something with depth and, you know contrast that's what I love about art you know it's literally we are creating things from nothing sometimes it's literally it's just an image in our brain right that's so cool to me it's such a fantastic thing being able to just sit there with an empty canvas come up with something you know and sometimes that's hard sometimes you know it's hard to come up with stuff but you just let your brush go you let your your pen your stylus do its thing and man some of the things you come up with they're just wild and they're cool you know and that's that's one of the coolest things to me I'm even going to come in here and I'm going to go even brighter. I'm going to go brighter, yeah. Because I want to really show some of these highlights. You know, I'm not going to go as, oh, you know, as hard as I did I think last time. But I really want to come in here on some of these spots and really show that the sun is, the sun is hitting. You know, a little, a little less than we did in a few other spaces. But really, you know, showing that off. There we go. 
And what's great is you can do this too. You, you know, you can do this. I can do it. Anybody can. You know, that's the great thing. That's the great thing about art. Anybody can do it. It just takes a little practice. It just takes thinking about what you're doing. You know, you could pick up a pen and paper and do this too. You can do it all in gray. That's one of the coolest things. It's like you could do it in great grayscale again. You know, it's just about how much pressure you apply, how much you, how much you blend, how much you don't blend. There we go. That, that looks really cool. Look at that jacket. That looks like it's got a lot of texture to it, doesn't it? That's got some good texture. That's got some good, you know, some nice like light spots, dark spots. Oh, that's coming together so well. And because of the the type of brush we're using for our blending, we're using uh, Kyle's Big Painty Blender. It's kind of like an oil paint blender, and it's it, you know really gives that texture like you would you know having it on a on a canvas. And that's what's cool. It's one of the cool things about digital art is it's all the fun of uh. It's all the fun of um, a, you know, of a paint set, but none of the mess. You don't have to clean it up later. <laughs> Although I do think pen and paper and a paintbrush and an easel and stuff is really fun too. I don't mind the mess. I don't. I don't at all. I get quiet when I do this, you know, because this is relaxing for me. This is this is very soothing. That's what I love about art. You know, it can be very bombastic, but at the same time, it's very soothing. Very, very soothing. All right, let's go ahead and let's make sure we get some highlights in here, too. I don't think about where that's hitting. We'll see. You know, not as many folds in this one, right? Not as many. But you do have that nice highlighted edge there. Hey, Harvester, how you doing? How How's your world treating you? How was your day? I hope it was a good day. Always hope it's a good day for you guys. I really, really do. Let's make sure we get some light spots. sunlight hitting this is grens and loses oc um we started sketching it uh last time i laid in the flats uh off off camera um but this is josie um and uh she's a a rough and tumble you know uh outlaw kind of uh maybe not even an outlaw but you know she's just a she's a tough youngin in in the wild the weird wild west um D and D campaign that uh, Grens and Lowe's is is working on right now. Um, she's really cool. She's been really fun to design and stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. Um, as as I mentioned a couple times now to you guys as well, if you have an OC, if you're part of the community, you have an OC that you want to possibly see be drawn here. Oh, that is true. That is true. She may be young. She's 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 young, but she is not to be messed with. That is very very true <laughs> she's a uh, she is a uh, um <laughs> she's dangerous you know um but if you have a, an oc that you want to possibly see have uh, have a an oc that you would possibly like to have drawn on stream um you know email it to me at jack at imaginary website jack.com and, uh, you know, you'll be added to the list. We did a random drawing, a uh, random number for the amount of people that we had um, submit for this first one. And uh, Grens and Loses came up first. I've got a list started, but uh, I'm not great with commissions. I'm really not. I, it's, it's it's a timeline thing. I just I've never really had time for commissions. And I, so I thought this would be a cool way to kind of do stuff like that because, you know, hey, there's, you know, way I can do it here. You can still get your character drawn. There's ways to support the channel if you want to, if you have the ability to. But this way, I'm not over-promising or under-promising anything. I'm just being able to do this, you know. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of 
that's kind of where we are and um, we're working on this jacket right now it's it's coming together really well so far I think um, I'm really excited I, I I have had so much fun learning about this character and um, yeah I, I am I'm excited to share her with all of you guys um, I was talking about earlier to um, one of the cool things about this character specifically is her age so this character is 15 right and um you know one of the one of the hardest things to do i find um you know when i when i draw draw if i'm just drawing a character normally i tend to make them you know one of the things we subconsciously do as artists is we'll tend to draw characters and we'll make them about the age that we are right and you know there's nothing wrong with that by any means but um i like that i've gotten the challenge of drawing a teenager because teenagers um you know especially at the age that Josie is you know they're starting to change into like they're 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 in this mid ground right they're like not quite an adult but they're not quite a kid anymore either and so having this uh duality there of like you know one of the things that i did to try to capture that is you know to to make her seem younger she has rounder cheeks right She's got like a rounder face structure, you know, to kind of indicate a little bit of youth, but she's still on the verge of becoming a, you know, full-fledged adult. She's growing into her face. So I kind of like started sinking in the cheeks a little bit here, you know, to, to, to hollow out the face. Like she's starting to lose that baby fat and stuff that, you know, we get. And she's had a rough life too, you know, even though she's only 15. And so like her hair and stuff, like I figured, you know, she's uh, one of the things that Grenz on those said was like sometimes she's got it up either in a ponytail or pigtails, right? And I thought, oh well, if she's out on the road and stuff, and she's an adventurer, she probably doesn't visit a salon that often, so she probably cuts her own hair. So that's why we've got a lot of like jagged ends. A lot, some are longer than others, some are shorter. You know, there's not a lot of, um, you know, it, it's very much like I, I this, I'm cutting it to keep it small, you know, and then she like ties it up in these ponytails and stuff and and yeah um you know thinking about how this character kind of like being able to, to to get in this character's head and like kind of come up with uh some ideas for how to do this you know that has been really fun that's one of the things i like about doing commissions you know like i said i don't really i usually don't have time for them but doing stuff like this um as i get to really think about characters who i've never met before you know that's one of the things as like a writer and a filmmaker is like I work with characters all the time. Like I love creating new characters and, you know, as an artist and stuff, I, I do that all the time. I've done it on stream before. Um, but getting to work with characters who are established in some way already, who aren't my own, who I get to still try to bring some life into is always such a fun experiment and so fun exercise. Um, there I go getting kind of quiet again. I do that. I do that when I draw. I, I kind of start to whisper and stuff. I try not to be too loud because this is this is a relaxing thing for me. And like I was saying earlier, too, it's like this is something that any one of us can do. You know, it takes practice. It takes a little bit of patience, but you can get there and you can do stuff like this. Um, everything that I've done, all the depth and stuff that I've created is just thinking about where light hits the fabric. Um, yeah, I have a few special brushes, but they're all free brushes, too. Um, and they just help add a little bit more texture. But I could do a, a lot of this with just the base Photoshop brushes or base Canva brushes and stuff like that. Um, that's the cool thing. You know, you could do this with literally a pen and paper, too. You know, maybe you won't get the colors because you're using black and white, but you can get this depth and you can bring this character to life even with just dark colors. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, that's why I always encourage everyone when I do an art stream to draw along. Pick up a pen and paper, doodle, do some, you know, do some creative work. You know, even if it's something that you don't think you're good at, you know, if you, you think, oh, I'm not, I'm not creative, I don't draw that much, that's okay. You know, it still can be like cathartic and therapeutic and, and be surprised what you can come up with. Um, especially if you're not someone who, who draws often, you know. Um, I guarantee you'll you'll come up with something something unique, you know. Uh, let's 
come over here and let's start adding in our highlight colors. All right, so we've got light hitting right in here. And you know, we got, this is kind of the shadow from the head, right? Thinking about where all our shadows lie. And we're gonna have some light coming in over here. And that means this lapel is also very bright pretty much all lit up as we go down. There we go. Yeah. And so we'll probably come in here with our brighter color too. Um, there we go. And then maybe, maybe we see the tips of some light kind of sneaking past it here. Not back here. This, well, actually no, back here would be like coming around the back because again, 3D. You know, you think about the, the dimensions you know, we have light wraps around stuff. Need a sapia photo filter for that old timey look. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, I get it. I get it, Penthos. <laughs> I, get, I get where you're coming from. I mean, because, again, like, I, I, I used to... You know, I used to not think I could be here. Um, and I, I completely I completely understand where you're coming from. It's back. It's back. Again, if you guys have any, um, any suggestions about that, I have downloaded the Canon EOS utility. I have, I, I'm using a capture card for it, HMI. I've disabled the, um, uh, the auto off feature for the Mark III. But if you have any ideas about how to get it to quit doing that, let me know. Uh, Discord them to me something because it is, I know it's annoying. Uh, it's annoying for you guys. It's annoying for me too. Um, you know. Percussive maintenance. Uh, you know, I, I, I can't beat it too hard just yet. <laughs> I still need it, you know. <laughs> but I like that. I like how I like how you put that percussive maintenance. <laughs> and I have also tried turning it off and on again. <laughs> Add some here. And there we go. Add some light right here. Maybe some right here because of where that's kind of there we go oh my god this coat is looking so good i'm happy with how this is coming out really really am there we go <laughs> i mean it can it can i've definitely been in that situation <laughs> We got some folds kind of coming in here. Maybe a little bit right here, too. All right. <laughs> this is be like the, you know, the guy is like sitting there just beating the top of the old TV to get it to work until the antenna, like, twist the rabbit ears. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start blending. There we go. And about 75. <laughs> You've had to smack the top of your PC to, oh gosh. That would. I did that to an old laptop once. I, I did. I had a I had a, a an old Alienware that just I was like I need you to work and it was frustrating and it wouldn't and I just went bop and it started working. I was like, all right, we understand each other now. <laughs> Not something I recommend doing, but <laughs> you want me to blow it up though, <laughs> Penthos? <laughs> yeah, I still need it. I still need it for work stuff too. It's just, uh, you know, 
for right now because I lost the other camera um, because of the layoff and stuff. I was I was using a 70 um, that uh, I borrowed from work as a streaming camera. And I was like, well, I have the Mark III. The only difference is for some reason the Mark III likes to shut off every once in a while. And I'm like, that's not how we do this. No, we don't. Wait, what? No. Um, whereas the 70 didn't, so I don't know. I'll figure it out though. I'll I'll spend some more time researching it. But it, again, if you guys have any ideas, let me know, please. Uh, most appreciated. Most appreciated. <laughs> it wouldn't be an issue. That's true. <laughs> it wouldn't. But then I wouldn't have a, p a camera to stream with. <laughs> you know. And I mean, I know, I know, you could do with less of this mug um, and more of the content. But, you know, I have been told that actually seeing the streamer is, is good sometimes, so. <laughs> there we go. Wow, the music in the Surprise Me channel. To steal one of Darko's cameras, he has. That's true. I'm actually going into the office for the last time tomorrow. Well, for the last time. I'm, I'm turning in my keys tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's officially my last day at Nerd Fusion slash Novo. Um, it's kind of a, it's a sad day. Um, but I'll be okay, you know? I'm just going to go turn in my keys, make sure everything is, you know, do one last, like, look around, make sure I got everything, and then uh, I'll be heading, heading to the grocery store, <laughs> you know. Yeah, it, it sucks. Hey, Moreland N. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, hope you're doing well. It sucks, but like I said the other day, it's not unexpected. You know, the layoff is, the, the company's just changing, and um, the industry as a whole when it comes to um, studio stuff has changed over the last year. You know, it's not something that um, was unexpected at all. So I'm using the extra time to stream more, obviously, uh, to um, look for jobs that I really like and I think I could really fit in. I lucked into NerdFusion slash Novo um, when I found them. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm using it to really focus on um, some other stuff and, and you know, I've got time that I can find uh, a job that I really like. Uh, do some, um, do some really good like like looking around and stuff. And and I'm 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 seeing it all as a, uh, uh you know, um, I'm I'm using it as a chance to, uh, try some things that you know I I wouldn't have been able to without it. You know, I'm I'm trying to see the bright side of things, um. So, n no, it, it, Penthos is, is the answer. Uh, I think the, the, the studio portion of it is just closing down. Um, on the bright side, though, like, if there is any video work, like video editing or, like, shooting a video, I'm, like, on the top of the list to... Because they didn't... Like, they, they don't... <laughs> the conversation I had, and uh, not to go into, uh, um, you know, too much detail again... Uh, it is like it's, this was like it, it just doesn't make sense for them to have a studio anymore um it's not anything that i did you know or anything like that they loved the work that i did and they loved having me around but just the environment has changed so much that they're like you know it just doesn't make sense for us to have a studio when a lot of people have figured out how to do a lot of studio work on their own you know and they've done it without you know coming to a place like this and so you know it, it sucks because you know the like the security of the job you know it is, is gone but like harps just said um you know it's an opportunity to try new things and to to um do stuff in in a way that's uh you know maybe find something better maybe you know i had a meeting uh last week actually uh last friday um like with a potential client for you know starting up my 
uh, Gray and I's business again, but with a new partner this time. And who knows, maybe there'll be more work like that coming around. And, and you know, it gives me more time to stream and stuff too. Like I, like I said, I'm using the time that I have because of the way everything's working out um, to stream more and to uh, really push for this because this is something that I really enjoy doing. Do I really think that it'll ever um, become my full-time job? Probably not, but um, I'm going to use the time I have to really push it and, and see where I can go, right? Hi, Gray. Gray thingies. Say hi to the gray thingies, everybody. Hearts. Hearts all around. <laughs> Are you okay? Wait. Like, oh. Like that? I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> Gray! <laughs> Gray has entered the chat. <laughs> Love you. Nope. Do what? Yeah, but no, the heater's turned off. Okay. Oh, here comes Tobe. Everybody says hi. Hello. Uh, Gray says hello if you can't hear them. You are a shadow. <laughs> nah, it's too it's too soft. <laughs> oh, here comes Leo too. Here come the kitties. I love you too, and I love the kitties too. Hi, Leo. Do you want to say hi to everybody? Hold on. Hold on. It is time for a break, too, you're right. Um, but first, let me show you Leo. Say hi. Say hi. Put me down. <laughs> yeah, he, he, okay, 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 I'll put you down. Put me down. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I'm going to save the drawing, and then I'm going to take a quick break, everybody, um, because we've been going for about two and a half hours, and we've got some more time. When we come back, <laughs> Father, release me. <laughs> very true. Very true. So um, I'll be back in just a few minutes. Don't go nowhere. If you do, please come back, because I will miss you. <laughs> All right, we will see you in just a bit.
here's the question. Ah, the camera is still going. Yes. Perfect. There we go. Alrighty. Hey, I'm back. Did you miss me? I missed you. I always miss you guys. I always miss you. Adjust our, adjust our volumes here. Hopefully the music's not too loud. If it is, let me know. I'm gonna check my phone real quick. Oh, hi JJ, I am back. <laughs> oh my gosh, love those dad jokes. Love them. Love them. Love them. Love them. There we go. Do I enjoy making courthouse puns? Guilty. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> perfection. I didn't know that perfection could be in a tweet. Hey, Grins and Lows. Oh, do I have something cool to show you then? <laughs> I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Hi, Hive Mind. <laughs> By the way, let me know how the music is, uh, if it's too loud or not. Um, uh, keep that recording again. All right. Look who we're working on. <laughs> we're, we're working on a, a one a Josie. <laughs> Oh, man. She is so fun to work on. You have no idea. She's so cool. She's such a cool character. I have been having so much fun today um, working on her. Um, uh, yay, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm working on the jacket right now. Um, we're, we're working on adding in this texture and stuff up here. Um, getting this all put in. Uh, but I'm glad you like her so far. Yeah. How are you two doing today? How's everybody doing today? How's your Tuesday going? I hope it's going well. I truly do. All right. Let me zoom in here. Let me put the navigator back right now so you guys can see the full drawing while I'm doing my thing. Um, actually, I take that back. I'm going to snag this color real quick. Then I'll put the nav. Better than Monday? Good. Good. That's always good. Better, better than the day before is always good. <laughs> it's the same as yesterday. Uh -huh. Hey, at least it's one day closer to being done with them, right? Right? You know, that's always a plus. It's one day, one day closer to being done with grading. <laughs> uh. <laughs> See, that's, that's, oh, hey, at least you're in a subject, right? Like you were in a subject where, um, there goes the camera. I knew it was going to go out one of these minutes here. Um, at least you're in a subject where there's an objectively right or wrong answer, right? Cause you, you, you're doing math, right? You know, and, and it's not like, it's not like, like an art. Well, I mean, math can be an art, you know, like don't, 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 don't quote me as saying like, it's not cause math is an art. Um, but you, you know what I mean? Like there, there's, there's like, I mean, I guess there's, there's the whole partial credit and not partial credit. I guess it's just, it's not as subjective as, as some other, um, uh, some other, you know, subjects like it's a good day, Tater. <laughs> <laughs> They call me Ron Tater Salad, right? <laughs> White. <laughs> oh, I'll bet. Oh, yeah. Partial credit because you, you want to give them every point that they can if they do some of it right. But at the same time, you're like, your answer is wrong, but you almost had it. Yeah. No, I totally, totally get that. That's That's got to be hard. I mean... Cause like, where do you draw the line? It's like, yeah, you got everything. My son, tater top. <laughs> oh my gosh. I haven't, I haven't watched the blue collar comedy tour in so long. <laughs> that was one of the first stand up comedy things that I, um, I ever really got into. 
This is also a problem. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that I didn't even think about that. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, if they can just go online and look up the answer, but then they don't show any of their work. Like, I feel like right now showing your work and like is like you have to. Like you like I always like was like, why do I need to show my work if I if I did it in my head or whatever? <laughs> nice. Nice. But yeah, he is pretty funny. Um, I, 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 I used to be a real big Bill Ingvall fan. Yeah, that's how you pronounce his name. Bill Ingvall. Um, more so than Ron White, but they were, they were all funny. I thought the blue collar comedy tour was hysterical when I saw it, um, back when those came out. Um, no, never really too much into Larry the Cable Guy, but you know, definitely see the appeal. Definitely see the appeal. <laughs> Um, uh, but my, uh, my, my taste in comedy has also changed a lot since then too. But uh, yeah, true, true hive mind. Yeah, no, absolutely. Grins and those. Yeah. That's, that's like, that's gotta be such a hard thing to, you know, to like really like judge. I mean, yeah, it, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I mean, good luck is, is you know, the, the thing that I, I can say, um, you know, cause you have a hard job that I don't envy, um, when it comes to that. Uh, I have no idea what that is. Picture math. What, what even is this? That sounds like a nightmare and a half for teachers. Picture math. I've never even heard of that. Oh my god, that that's that's BS. That's absolute BS. What? Oh my god, that. Oh my god, no. Okay, look, 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 look. <laughs> okay, here, here's the deal. Like I get that the old saying is no longer true. Nowadays, everyone walks around with a, a calculator in their pocket. I totally get it. But you still need to be able to do the basics at the very least, the basics in your, you know, on your own. Because, you know, there's no way, like, a calculator is going to be around all the time. I mean, what if your phone's... Like, there's... And, and, and that is just such a... I wish people would put the same amount of energy that they do into cheating into their actual work. You know? Like... I never understand... You're just hurting yourself and your own chances at that point. Like... Like, yes, like I, I'm in, I'm in, I, I'm, I'm in the arts and stuff like that. You know, I'm in the entertainment business and do I use math? Exactly. Exactly. No, that, that's actually what I was just about to say was like, do I use a, you know, math every day? No, but I use the logical problem solving skills that I get from that I got from doing math all the time plus you know learning basic angles and 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 how to adjust things slightly and stuff like that you know I, they're just doing themselves a disservice at that point you know because they're they're you know and, and that, that's really frustrating to me like if I found out like my cousins were doing that no you're good you're good you're totally good do not apologize. I totally understand. My cousins are like, oh God, one of them's about to turn 15 and the other one's like 13. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, you <laughs> grins and rent. <laughs> I like it. You don't have to be able to do it all in your head, but being able to logically solve the problem and like figure it out step by step and breaking stuff down 
is such an invaluable skill and they're just they're just taking that away from themselves and that's not cool like they need to that again it goes back to the thing that I, I've, I've said so many times and I've said it here I'll, I'll say it again I'm sure in the future but like just because you can do something doesn't mean you should grins and rant I like it <laughs> maybe I should I don't do I rant often enough to to, to warrant having a uh, uh, a Jackie rant <laughs> I don't I don't know I'm sure I rant about stuff. I lecture a lot and I teach a lot, <laughs> um, but not 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 so much rant. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, not not enough. Okay, we solved that problem. <laughs> See, we logically did it. <laughs> we used math skills. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. <laughs> I, I I I do know Darko rants about it. I need panic. <laughs> that would be good. That'd be a good emote. A panic emote. <laughs> Maybe we'll draw that one up next. <laughs> for our next, when we unlock our next emote. We have so many emotes that when we get to them, we can draw. I, I'm so excited. Maybe, maybe what I can do too is like I can draw them up and then like uh, every so often we can just switch up the emotes that are available to all subscribers and stuff like that. That would be fun. Maybe yeah, I can just draw up a couple, um, <laughs> and, and 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 do that. That would be kind of fun. Time to move. <laughs> Time to go to bed. <laughs> it's two a.m. I can barely make it up past eleven anymore these days. <laughs> well, here, hold on. That's a command, so hold on. I'm trying to... Is that helping? <laughs> I do have BTTV emotes, yes. Um... That's true. That's true. I can I can always draw them up and put them in the Discord. That is very true. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I'm glad that helped. Ah, <laughs> uh, look at that texture that we got off that jacket sleeve. That's ah, uh, it that looks good. I, I don't want to toot my own horn, but that looks pretty good. That's true. That is very true. See, you guys teach me so much just by, like, being here. So thank you. I appreciate it. Um, uh, let me come get my brightest color real quick. I think I'm good with the darkest. So let's go a little bit brighter. There we go. Go back to the navigator. Let's come in here. Let's add just a few little highlight spots in on all this. <laughs> there we go. I'm glad you like her so far, Grands and Lows. I'm I'm really happy. That's that's one of the things I always worry about. Like, like I was saying earlier, I don't really do commissions because it's a time thing. Like, I feel like doing it this way. I'm like, okay, you know, if people want to support, they can. You know, all that good stuff. Yada yada. I won't go in, go into all that again. But like. Another reason why I don't really do commissions all that much is because I'm like, I'm worried that you're not going to like the character. So the fact that it seems like you're liking her and how she's coming out so far, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm really happy about that. Um, I am recording again, right? Yes, I am. Good. I'm also recording this whole process to uh, put it over on the YouTube channel um, as a speed paint. Um with some some audio telling you about the process and why I did things the way I did. Um, there we go. Um, but yeah, I, I'm really happy that you you like her so far. Makes me really happy when 
you know, I draw something and people really like gravitate to that or they, they like it, you know, it, it means a lot to me. <laughs> um, cause you know, I put, I put a lot into it, you know, I, and, and, you know. Okay. Sounds great. Well, JJ, since I won't see you until Saturday, I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you for being here as always. And, uh, thank you for being your wonderful, amazing self. Have a great night and a great rest of your week, JJ. We'll see you this weekend. Yeah, uh, I um, <laughs> I'm glad, Grins and Lows. Um, yeah, and and like I, I loved the email that you, you sent. By the way, like I know you were worried about like. Uh, you know, it's it's overly long or it's, you know, too detailed and stuff, but it's not. It's It was perfect. It gave me so much to jump off of. Like, it, it really wasn't. It really wasn't. Um, it was it was great. It was a great character breakdown. It was a great story where she came from. It's why I um, it's why I made sure I added a Bowie knife in here because that's where she found the medallion, um, you know, was in the the, the wrapping of it. And I was like, oh, I got to make sure that maybe maybe that's something she carries. I don't I didn't know if she carried it, but I kind of assumed that's like a that's a really important thing, you know, especially to an explorer, you know, having a good having a good knife. Like when I was in Boy Scouts and stuff like I was like, oh, you got to have a good knife with you. You, know, you got to have a um, in case of an emergency or if you need to cut something or whatever it could be a good pocket knife um, up here. Oh, a good Bowie knife, you know, and so I wanted to make sure it was like attached to her. Um, you know, and then like you were like, oh, you know, she always wears pants and stuff. And I was like, much to the dismay of others, you know, um, and I was like, okay, so she's rough and tumble, you know, I'm like, oh, maybe, you know, if you think about it, there wasn't a lot of like female centric adventure clothes back in the day, you know, in the, the wild west when this, the weird west as it were, uh, for your campaign. Um, and so I was like, maybe. So maybe she's like gotten like a, you know a vest and tried to tailor it a little bit more toward her, um, you know. I was just trying to, you know, give her stuff that she could move in and she could fight in, but still keeps like the, uh, you know, uh, keeps like the spirit of the character and you know like what's practical and what what's not. Um, it's why like. I was telling everybody earlier too, before you came in, um, I was like, I really wanna, um, I really wanna show off that this character is like in transition, like as far as their age, right? You know, she's she's lived a rough life, like your email said, um, but she's also like, she's young. And so that's why like, um, and I, I was talking about it earlier, it's like, that's why she's got like these rounded cheeks because it's like still youthful. She's still got like her baby cheeks and stuff. But like in the painting process, you can see over here, I started to kind of hollow out the cheek a little bit too. Um, and uh, to like she's she's in that process of like losing that and coming, uh, you know, becoming like a full fledged adult. Oh, uh, hey, thank you, Kelzaba. Um, in the story of our campaign right now. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, thank you, Killzob. I'm glad you like it uh, so far. Yeah, th this jacket is coming along really nicely. I'm very happy with how the sleeves and everything are coming out. Um, and uh, I'll probably move from the jacket once I'm done with this, like, shoulder section. Um, probably do the hair and the vest and stuff. Because uh, we're going to go for about another hour, I think. Um you know, maybe do like the, the neckerchief kind of focus more on like the upper body and then um, I'll probably finish up off stream too. Um, but uh, it's it's been so fun to work on. Hey, Lugarius. Um, it's been so fun to work on this character and thank you so much for trusting me with her. Um, it is it is always, always a, a fun thing to work on characters that are new to me. Um, and like this is like the newest it could be like this is somebody's somebody else's character completely and i know that that's a it's a big thing to trust somebody with bringing that character to life and putting their spin on your character and so thank you very much for allowing me the opportunity to do that 
Um, how you doing today, Lugarius? How's your world treating you? Did you have a good day at work? I hope so. excited to work on characters i really really am it's they're so fun I, and i i love I, again the challenge that this brought with it like the like those little things of like you know like i was saying earlier um the biggest thing about this is is totally the age like and making the character feel like that transition and like the age that they are because i could have gone really youthful like anime youthful with it i could have gone very comic book youthful which is just drawing a full-grown adult and saying that they're a certain age um but i really wanted to show a character i wanted to try to blend those and and show a character who is constantly still growing you know they're you know because she's young she doesn't know who she is yet she's she's only had this one mission you know on her mind this whole time right and who knows who she's going to be after that who knows who she's going to be once you guys finish your campaign or even even after that like she's still got a whole life to live and um she's really only at the beginning of her journey which is cool um that's such a fun place to be in as a as a character designer um I wish I could do more commissions. I, I do. I wish I was in a better, like, 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 I wish I was better about the, like this. Um, you know, it, it's the time limit really uh, that, that, that gets me when it comes to commission work is like, it's not that I can't do them. It's that I, I just like, I don't know that I could necessarily do every character quickly. Like I've, I've spent a lot of time thinking about this character and I've spent a lot of time making sure that I, I gave some thought like we did a whole stream uh, last week of just sketching out ideas for this character you know and I want to because I want to make sure that she's done right and I don't I don't like to I don't like to just shoehorn stuff you know um, or you know, just be like, all right, here you go. Like, I like to really think about it, and I want to make sure I do each character justice. And, you know, it's like, how do you put... I, I don't even know how to put a price on that either. You know, and that's the kind of the whole thing about commissions. <laughs> um, is, you know, they are, <laughs> you know, a price-based thing. And, you yeah. know, so I'm, again, thankful for the fact that you let me do this, that you've you've let me um you know take your character and bring them to life in my way and um in my style and just yeah again thank you for the trust and um i feel like this is my way of doing like commission work is like i'll do it on stream you know and uh again it's like I I've, I've said this before so i won't i don't want to harp on it too much but like if i do it on stream that's a way for people like anyone to be like, oh yeah, I could get that done and like I can support the stream by subscribing or whatever, you know, um, whatever feels appropriate. And then there's no pressure on, on, on me as the artist or uh, them as the viewer. And, you know, it's like, hey, this is, this is wonderful. You know, this is a good, a good balance, I feel. Um, I'm not liking this sleeve right now. I like the shadow for the head and stuff. But I don't necessarily like these sleeves that I did. So what I'm gonna do to fix that is I'm gonna come over here with my base color and I'm gonna actually color in some of that. I feel like the, the curve element of it kind of um, threw it off. Oh, yeah. thank you. Oh, my God, Grenzlo, you didn't have to do that. Oh, my God, thank you so much. 
Oh, I appreciate that so much. Uh, you did not need to do that. That's I, I, I Thank you. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I don't. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Oh. Oh, bother. I'm a little. I'm a little poo bear. Oh, bother. Oh. Thank you so much. I very. That is. Oh, wow. That is. That is a lot. Oh my gosh. That, wow. Thank you so much. Mm, thank you. Sorry, I'm not crying. What? I'm not teary eyed. <laughs> That's the what? No. <laughs> uh, well, I appreciate it. I really do. That means a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm an emotional mess today. I, I had therapy just before this. You know, I was talking about everything going on. And, you know, I'm an emotional. But thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it so much. I and and thank you. Thank you very very much. I don't know. How many times I can say that in one sentence, but thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> As I whisper. <laughs> um, my goal is to have her done for you um, in the next uh, week. Um, my goal is I want to I finish her up, make sure that she's good to go. Um, you know, I'll, I'll make sure to do all the, the right coloring and stuff so you can get a good print of her done at your own leisure. You know, if you want that, or you can just make it a, um, like a background or you can just, you know, print it off on regular paper if you want. Um, but my goal is to have her done by next week. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm working on, uh, the upper body right now and today. And I think, um, we'll do, I'll probably be just cause of timing. I don't know. We're moving really fast. So we'll see what happens in the next hour. Um, I feel like I've spent a lot of time on the jacket and <laughs> a wall of hearts. <laughs> but um, I'm doing this in a, in a, in a high res so that you could print, print her off, take her to D and D, whatever, however you want to do it. Um, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll do my little signature and everything. Um, she's, uh, I think this isn't, eight by 10 um, image if my if I remember my canvas size correctly um, but she'll be able to be scaled up and down um, because she's it's a very high quality like it's a it's a um, 300 pixel per um, per inch kind of deal so um, you'll be able to you know do do however you like uh, let's get this dark color because I think whoops Let's put just a little bit darker of a color right here. It is, the sun is hitting it, but there is still some shadow cast. There we go. Um, there we go. Oh, that jacket looks so cool right now. And um, I was thinking... I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do for the background yet, but you are getting a background on this too, I think. Um, I'll probably send you both files, one with and one without a background. Um, I, I'm thinking of doing it almost like a wanted poster, but I'm like, wanted posters aren't in color, Jack. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm glad you think so. I'm glad you like her. I really do. I, I'm, it makes me really happy that you like her. All right. Let's save real quick and let's go... Um, let's do the neckerchief real quick, cause that'll be, um, that'll be a little quicker. If I remember, I called it scarf, because I didn't know how to spell neckerchief at the time, cause it was late, um, and I was lazy to look it up. <laughs> go let's get darker in here there we go and this is all going to be dark actually right in here because again of that shadow we have to keep our shadows going up 
Okay, good luck getting your grading done. Yeah, and thank you again. I really, truly appreciate it. it all of it goes right back into the stream and, 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 and making sure that we, we provide the best for you guys. And so thank you very much. Um, I, I, I very much appreciate it. Um, good luck grading. Kick those grading, that grading's butt. You can do it. I believe in you. Um, <laughs> I know it's stressful, but you got it. You got this. All right. So now we think about the, whoops, I, oh, that's why it keeps happening. Because I keep, uh, I see what's going on. I keep opening up programs by accident. because my toolbar is full now. <laughs> um, all right. Let's go a little bit darker now. Nice. Awesome. I will take a look here in just a second. Um, I'm excited to see, see your art. I love when people share art in the art channel. Uh, Crouton Commander has shared a couple of times. I know you've shared a couple of times, Lugarius. I always love it. I always love it. I love when the community gets to be creative together. Um, it's always fun for me um, seeing what you guys come up with and knowing that, you know, it's not just me creating. You know, I, I like being a part of a community that creates together, and I think we're all coming up with some cool stuff. So I'm excited. I will take a look here in just a second. Um, get these highlights done. There we go. Now with this one, unlike the jacket, I'm going to blend this kind of a lot. I'm going to make this a more natural gradient. Um, not as many bright spots. Reason being is this is a different type of cloth. The jacket is kind of like leather, right? Um, we, we have a lot of um, hard reflections and stuff, whereas this, not so much. This is more of just a natural gradation from, you know, there's the dark spots, the shadows are really thick, but the bright spots, not so much. They're there just as like a little highlight but we don't want it to look like leather, right? We want it to look natural. So we're gonna try to, and we may have chosen too bright of a color, so we may have to go in and recolor this. But the hope is that this will blend really well, really easily. And yeah, it's already starting to do that. That's good. There we go. Yeah, that's looking good. And there goes the camera again. This camera, man. I almost worry if I should just switch back to a webcam. Maybe. I like the HD, though. I like the. I love the Mark III. It's a good camera. It's just not the greatest for webcam list, you know? It's not meant as a web camera, obviously, because uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a cinema camera. Or a DSLR cinema, not a full-fledged cinema, but it's what I got. So, kind of use what I got, right? One day we'll invest in a an actual like another camera, like like the seventy we were using before. There we go. That's looking good. I like that. Again, not too much of a, a difference here. We just want some natural shadow. I think what we're gonna do is come in here with a little bit darker of a color. So that way um, we can really get that shadow showing. Other than that, come in here and darken this up. Yeah, it's 
show the shadow from the head. Even in the darkest shadows, light can still persist and come in. And that's one of those things that we have to keep thinking of. There we go. Now that looks like a shadow. There we go. That's perfect. Um, not perfect, perfect, but you know what I mean. Um, all right, so we got our darkest color here. Let's take our brush. Let's go over these lines. Actually, let's let's choose this color. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll think about that. Actually, uh, that reminds me, the Amazon wish list. Oh, I'm gonna have to change all that because I don't have a PO box anymore. Ooh, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. We'll figure it all out. Um, and I'm sure there's a way I can fix the the one that I have. You know, um, it's just. The, it's the auto off feature. Like this is a great camera that I'm using. It's just um, for some reason it likes to turn off every 30-ish minutes, um, even though I disabled that feature. So we'll see. Um, it could also just be the lens combo that I'm using too. Um, the lens could just be like, I'm done, you know, because we're not officially shooting anything or recording anything. Sometimes that happens, but um, oh, I will. I will definitely look into it. Um, go ahead and make that gray too. And there we go. And yes, no distractions. <laughs> All right, let's work on the shirt next. The shirt is going to be fun. Let's save, control S. We'll do the shirt and the vest. I think we can get both of those done uh, before time is out. We may even get more done. I think we will. Um, but for now, let's... All right. So let's go much darker. Because this is pretty much all in shadow right here. All of that is in shadow. And as you can see, we're actually using like a blue gray. And the reason I'm doing that is actually so that um, you get a nice contrast. Cause this, like these are, these are both, oh, that's a good, that's a good, yep, posture check. You're right, thank you. That is, that is a good, I was starting to slump there. Thank you, Lugarius, I appreciate that. Um, the reason I'm doing that, this, uh, the way that I am is, so these two colors are actually almost right next to each other when you check them out on the, the color uh, cube here. But by choosing one that's closer to blue and one that's closer to red, we get these two distinct colors. Um, and they contrast with each other very well. So that way we're not, um, uh, we're, we're not getting, um, the colors aren't getting lost. That's the word I was trying to say. The colors aren't going to get lost in the um, in the fray. Okay, the shadow coming in through here from the vest because it is raising up. All of this is going to be in shadow because of the hand. There we go. Probably even more. And then there's like a little line here because of. And probably here too, because of the way that goes. And then up here, shadow lines here, because of the fold in the shirt. And then we got to come over here. And this is all pretty much going to be in shadow too. There we go. And same thing over here. We're gonna have some light coming off of it on this side, but for the most part, it is gonna be all in shadow. I'm gonna make sure here. I'm having so much fun. 
Uh, this is uh, this is such a fun project. You guys have no idea. Like I love I, I nerd out about this stuff. I really do. All right, let's go even darker, closer to gray, so we don't get too much blue in the in the mix here. We'll make sure we hit that shadow. A little bit of light coming out there. There we go. Let's go ahead and take our smudging tool. There we go. Go ahead and start smudging this. And you know what? We'll even go, let's go here. This color. Let's go even darker, even darker for this fold right here, because that is where the collar is. We want that to be nice and lifted up off there. There we go. Try to make sure some of that light comes in here so it follows that collar line. There we go. We got the shadow coming off of there. I figure there's a button there and a button there. Um, there we go, across this way, and actually let's go ahead and add in some of that darker again, maybe throw a line like that in there. There we go. Folds here. Let's make sure some more light gets in here. That's kind of starting to come up too much. There we go. Yeah, get some good folds going in there. Oops, too far, too far. Let's go here. Let's add that darker color. Very small amount in these areas. Let's go ahead and blend that in. Don't want to lose that completely. So if we pull too much, we can always put it back, right? There we go. Because we don't want the shirt to get completely lost in the fray. Because sometimes it, it has the potential to do that. It is underneath a lot of layers. All right, let's go darker here. And let's get really dark right here. Ease that out here. There we go. Let's actually add that really dark right here. So it's up. It's, it's where the crunch is coming forgive me my phone just went off make sure it's not a message from the family Ooh, there's a new Barnes and Noble opening up on the 26th I'm so excited it's opening up like within walking distance of us and uh you know we, we go into that you know we go into that gray and i are book nerds i love a good book not yet not yet sorry um i got distracted let me pull up discord right now um discord is there make sure i'm in. it is in the Um, it's in the art share channel. There it is. Oh, dude, that looks great, man. That's great. Are these original characters or are, um, that looks really good, dude. 
Your shadow work is really good. Oh my gosh. Um, do you mind if I share this on screen real quick? Um, I don't want to do it unless you say it's okay. Um, they were for a friend's D&D campaign. Nice. Cool. Um, let me come over here. Pause this. Turn on my display capture. Open original. Dude, like this is so good. Like your shadow work here is so wonderful. This is really good, dude. Thank you for sharing this with me and thank you for letting me show it on screen. Um, no, this is really cool. I love it. Um, the muscular chair looks really good. That shadow work. Yeah, man, this looks really good. I, I remember, okay, so you and I go a ways back, right? So um, I remember where you were even before, like, even before this. <laughs> and like dude i remember where you were like when we like were living close to each other and stuff um and like you've improved so much since then too like uh you like you, you yeah just keep 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 doing the good the good good that you do <laughs> <laughs> I think I went and did the wrong color. I did. <laughs> I'm sure your friend loved it too. And if they didn't, well, poof. <laughs> um, if I got something like that, I would love it. That, that's amazing. <laughs> there we go. And then I want to make this. want to be like a there we go this probably won't show up that well but I want that to be almost like a pearly like a pearl snap almost um there we go let's find our darkest color here there we go that color and make that kind of a button kind of like that and then let's go up here let's make sure we get our line art colored in real quick because this is one that will easily be forgotten I, I haven't colored in the coats line art yet because we're not done with it yet so, but I want to make sure that this gets in here oh and see maybe jacket let's come over here let's make sure yep that's what it was this got a little there we go and they ask oh, that's okay hey it's never never too late to put a video uh, uh a highlight reel um together highlight reels are um you know, or a show reel, as some call it, a talent reel. Uh, some people call it, there's like a thousand names for a show reel. I usually call it a show reel myself. Um, but they're they're definitely worth having. I actually need to update my show reel. So I'll probably be doing that tomorrow when I edit some stuff for YouTube as well. Um, but yeah, like, uh, dude, having a good show reel is it's a good idea to have. Um, and it'll get it'll get you really far. I found. Oh well, hey, it's never too late to uh, get back into it. You know, I, I I actually talked about that earlier today. Like I haven't, um, I've done video work, but I haven't done like work for just me when it comes to video stuff in a long time. And so that's something I want to get back into soon. You know. But yeah, dude, like there, it's never too late. It's never too late to get back into it. There we go. We got our lapel.
Hell Shadow here. We got our Connector Shadow. I I I have faith. You, you if you if that's something that you really want to do, yeah, dude, I have no doubt you'll get into it really easily. It'll be like riding a bike for you. This is all covered up by. Jacket. This is Shadow from the Knife. The Knife. Um, we got the pocket here. There we go. <laughs> Alright, now we got this. This side here. Oh, that would be cool. Oh, we were talking about that earlier today too. Um, earlier on the stream was Love Death Plus Robots. Um, have you seen season two yet? We watched it last night. Um, I loved season one. Um, I'll just go ahead and preface and say I loved season one of Love Death Plus Robots. Um, and I, I think season two was is kind of a letdown to me. Not because I think it's beautifully animated. Everything is beautiful. Even the season one is amazing. Season one is amazing. I think season two is A, too short. And season one had a lot of like, not only was it great animation, but their storytelling was on point and they had a lot of stuff to say in season one and i feel like season two was a lot of like this is good cg animation but there's no story or like they the story was too little or sometimes too much i feel like season two for me just kind of missed the mark but season one is really good and i still recommend anybody who hasn't seen love death plus robots check it out it's good stuff it's very good stuff. It's it's great animation. At, at the very least, it is fantastic animation, and um, you can uh, you can respect it just for that. Like, it is even even the ones that you might not like, the animation is still top tier, um, and that's what's cool. Like, and that's that's very rare that you find something where you're like. You know, I may not have resonated with it, but the animation, I can't deny, is so, so good. Um, season 2, there's there's a few in Season 2. Like, I won't, run, I won't tell you any of the stories, but there's a few in Season 2 where it's like, dude, is that is that animated or is that a real person? Like, I just... My only complaint with Season 2 is just I feel like they didn't push it enough i feel like they lost like the message component because there was some stuff in season one that i was like oh snap oh snap is this good this is good stuff you know and this says something and i feel like season two just doesn't have that as much um which is sad because i think that's a really big thing especially in a short film you know um again all technically brilliant films um but like i feel like i don't know Season two is just a little bit of a miss for me. But again, I'm not the end all be all when it comes to, I'm not a, I'm also not a film critic. Um, I probably could be, but I don't want to be. <laughs> uh, I hate tearing apart the thing I love. <laughs> And yet I do it all the time when I watch movies. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, uh, it's it's still a really good show, like I said. Um, doing a CG film, though, is, is hard work. It's a lot of work. But hey, if you want to take on that challenge, I, I applaud you. And I can't wait to see what you come up with, my friend. I really can't wait. I am, I'm excited that you're 
thinking of taking on that challenge. You're braver than I am. Everything else is just... <laughs> Didn't you say you were getting a mocap, uh, like, system or something? Or no, somebody had one at the, the tech school, right? Like, I want to say that we were talking about mocap for some reason, recently. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know we were. I, I'm not losing my mind just yet. Oh, there, that's what it was. That's what it was we were talking about. Yeah, you were talking about getting it from a company. Um, that's expensive, though. Mocap, mocap gear is expensive. But, again... I think more power to you, my friend. <laughs> um, and I'm excited to see what you come up with. I really am. All right, let's go a little bit brighter. More of the sunlight's hitting. go deep motion where you upload a video someone moving on camera with picture oh see that's like a whole world I, I just don't know much about to be honest um like I know I, I know the basics of everything but like I don't know like the the full world or like you know like what all goes into it and stuff but I'm it's it's fascinating from youtubers yeah hey that's where i get a lot of stuff i learned so much from youtube like never let anyone say that youtube isn't a great source of like learning and stuff because i learned so much from watching youtube i i go through and i'll like sit and i'll find a way to like um like if i i want to draw like or not draw but like if i want to do a um like some after effects work because after effects i'm like I'm okay at After Effects. I, you know, I'm, I know the basics. I can get by. I can do what I need to do, right? Um, but I might not be able to do everything I want to do. And I, I just sit and I go. I'll, I'll sit and watch YouTube, and I'll follow along to tutorials. I'll take notes. Uh, I do, I do the works. And I've learned so much about After Effects from YouTube. Um, you know, and for some people, After Effects comes really easily. Um, you know, um, for me, not so much. Premiere, pfft, whatever. I can do Premiere in my sleep. Um, Photoshop, you know, I don't know everything, but I'm pretty handy with it. After Effects, still always learning, but I love it. I love, 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 love it. It is such a good program. Let's go darker. These. These Bhutans, these Bhutans need to have shadow. The Bhutans need to have shadow. And you know what? I think we're really going to push it. I think over here needs to be really dark. Let's find this color. Let's go here. This, this needs to be dark. We're not pushing that enough. There we go. These are harsh shadows. These are really harsh. Need to be darker. There we go. There we go. And let's let's take let's take a little bit. Let's let's do let's do a line under each one of these. Let's let's get 
Let's get some shadow going. It's one of the things that I, I've noticed, like a lot of my artwork has been, um, like that's, that's my fault in my art is I just don't push the shadows and like the values to what they could be, you know? And it's something that I'm constantly working on. It's one of the reasons why I'm doing this project is like, and doing it the way that I'm doing it is to like, hey, no, like shadows and stuff can be harsh. And like, just because I like to have natural gradients and stuff on the skin or whatever, doesn't mean that I can't have harsh shadows too and hard lights and hard cuts and, you know, things like that, you know, and, and give things. That's, I mean, again, that's how you get depth and texture and, and how you, you know, really, you know, move about. And, and, and that's how you grow as an artist is to push yourself to do things that you've never done before or you have a hard time with and notice what you have a hard time with and push yourself to do more. And, and, and I've had references pulled up uh, occasionally throughout the stream today to be like, hmm, you know, I'm not getting the thing I want to get. And, um, you know, so I pulled up reference and I'm like, okay, I kind of want to emulate something like that. And I think, how does that translate into what I'm doing right now? Um, you know, and, and I do that in my film. I do that in, in all my work, you know, is like, how do I get better? How do I push myself to be better than I was last time? You know? And I think that's something that, um, you know, we can all, we can all get into. I think the buttons on this are going to be a nice like kind of cream color they're not going to stand out too much I don't want them to stand out too much but I do want them to have a different outline color Maybe even darker. They are buttons after all. There we go. Oh yeah, I like that more. And then I can fix the shadows now that I can see the outline. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and take this color and I'll start coming in here. There we go. And I love how natural that's starting to look. I may even, what I might do, what I might do is I kind of want this vest to have a little bit more texture than it does. So I, I have an idea. I have an idea. An idea. An idea. Oh, there goes the camera. And the camera's back. There goes the happy, but the happy's back. <laughs> Almost lost it. <laughs> I don't know if any of you are fairly odd parents fans, but <laughs> that's a that's a deep cut from the past. I love the fairly odd parents. I love I love the old fairly odd parents. The, the the like the newer stuff after they Cosmo and Wanda had the baby was a little mm, but um like the like the the early seasons of uh fairly odd parents. You know, and I think that's fair. Like I grew out of fairly odd parents, you know, the time the time for me to be a fairly odd parents kid changed, you know, it, it, <laughs> it I grew out of it. Um, it, you know, it was a shirt, a show that, uh, you know, I just naturally grew out of, which is fine. That's happens it, when a show stays on for longer than what, you know, it's going to happen. Right. But one of my favorite jokes from that show was, uh, Timmy and his dad are, are starting or are, are talking and um, uh, his dad's like, oh, you know, that's when all my hopes and dreams died. And he goes, well, when was that? And he goes, well, how old are you? <laughs> it's such a it's such a dark joke. I'm not dark, but it's just like such a like, oh, my God, joke. 
but <laughs> like oh yes yeah, so all my hopes and dreams died when i had a kid was was it was like for a kid show to pull that off you know and make it funny to kids is hysterical to me because that, that was like that's a joke that flew over my head as a kid but then i look at it now and i'm like oh my god that's hysterical you know um i don't know why it's funny it's just my my type of humor i guess but um Okay, here's something that I need to do. If she's going to have this brightness on her cheek, that highlight, I need to go back to this jacket and I need to add some strong highlights here. And I need to have hard edges. I can blend it in, but it still needs to have like a hard edge. And I may regret this later. I may regret it, but I'm doing it. Cause this is reflective clothing. I'm already regretting it. <laughs> I'm already regretting it, but I'm doing it. Blending it in helps. Blending it in is helping me. Uh, and I think it's helping it make sense, too. There we go. Yeah, that, that looks better. It actually looks like, you know, it's supposed to be there now. And I'm sure coloring in the line art will help it make more sense, too. There we go, yeah. Kinda like that edge lighting there. There, that's good, that's good. All right, um, what else can we do? We got about 20 minutes left in our stream. Um, oh, I know what we can do. Let's, um, we got a, we got an ear. Oh, oh, I wasn't done with the shirt. I completely almost, I almost forgot. She's gonna have a pocket square in the vest, but that pocket square is gonna be It's gonna be the blue of her eyes so that the color makes sense here. There we go. and then let's go dark because it's colored up right here. So there's some shadow coming in. Oops. There we go. And then let's go back up here. We got some lighter color right here because where the sun is going to come and hit it. There we go. Give ourselves some artificial like folds and stuff. sun is hitting it perfect right in there let's go back up here let's take our darker color let's get that line in there there we go now she's got a pocket square um let's go up here Oop. cool all right let's do this earring real quick to because you know we, we gotta do the earring we're working on the upper body and stuff so um all right i don't think i have a layer for that yet so we're gonna just do a nice silver earring here but 
that in place. Let's actually go ahead and clean up some of that line art. This was kind of a last minute addition in here. Lock that back down. Okay, let's go ahead and get darker here. And even darker. So this is the shadow portion. There we go. Let's go ahead and fade that in right here. And then let's go up, 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 up. Do that kind of. Give it a nice little reflection. All right, let's pick our darker color. Let's go back up to the line art. Welcome back, Lugarius. Welcome back, my friend. And there we go. There we go. We got our earring taken care of. Let's do the lips real quick, too. She's not going to be wearing any, um, like lipstick or anything but we can do the we can do the mouth um, welcome back welcome back yes uh, missed you <laughs> alright let's go back and add a new layer let's take this take this probably actually erase a lot of the lines that I have for her mouth. In fact, I think I'm just going to do that right now. Whoops. Opened up a layer panel that I didn't need to open up. So we're only affecting that. We'll get a darker color and a smaller brush. And again, we're thinking about where the lighting is coming from. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get even darker here. Smaller. Don't want to do too light though. Don't want it to look too much like the skin. She does have different color lips, just like we all do. And then I'll do some little highlights here. So a few times I'll use just like a straight white. Just for the highlights on the lips and stuff. Because we're gonna fade that out quite a bit. Blend that out really well. And then let's go up here. Lock that back down. Let's take our darkest color. Go even darker. Color the lines here. So people's lips actually get lighter the further in you go, but I've actually found out that in my art and stuff, 
It actually makes more sense if I do the shadows and stuff. It makes it look a little more real. Don't know why, but it does. All right, let's go ahead and add those teeth in there. There we go. Collapse that down. And then we will add one more new layer. Let's do... richer brown color for the toothpick and we'll come up here to the line art and do the toothpick line art there we go let's make sure we color all of that in so we don't miss anything there we go to merge those. And we'll go ahead and lock that down. There we go. She's got a mouth. There we go. She's looking really good. Uh, you shouldn't be. Okay. Is it a number that you recognize, Lugarius? Because I've been getting those so often lately. And it's like, we're trying to call you about your car's extended warranty and stuff like that. There's a scam There's a scam call situation going on right now in the U.S. that is exactly that. Um, yeah, it's from Miami. Then it's a scam call. Yeah, for sure. Um... Yeah, that's that's been going on all over the U.S. lately. So, um, yeah, I would say just ignore it. A, a real, a real, like company and stuff wouldn't wouldn't do that. So, let's go ahead and do these gloves real quick. Not much we have to do the gloves, honestly. But we'll make sure that they've got some good depth to them. And some good highlights as well. Let's come over here. So we got a little way to... Clip Studio? Why do you say that? I mean, I, I've heard good things about Clip Studio. Um, Gray even has a really old version of it, um, but we don't have the newest version of it. Um, good shading? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm always open to trying new, new products and stuff. Um, lucky enough to be able to have Photoshop and stuff because of Premiere. Um, and it takes a, it takes a while to learn the Photoshop stuff, but once you do it, it it's really flexible. Um, but yeah, I can look into Clip Studio too. It's not too bad of a price. Um, it's like a new game, right? <laughs> um, uh, let's go darker now. that okay let's go over here to the other glove real quick let's blend all this in again there's really not too much that we need to do to the gloves overall they're not that prevalent but we still want to make sure we treat them with the same amount of love that we treat everything else Brighter. Oh, 
helps the hand not look too flat too. There we go. Let's come back over here. Add some small highlights in right here. Maybe even right here. Just a tiny bit, not much. There we go. And then let's get our darkest color again. There we go. Let's come back up to our line art. Color that in. I know it doesn't look like it's doing much, but trust me, it is. save and with that save i think we're gonna call it for today oh my gosh this was a lot of fun this this is a, just a fun piece to be working on um i'm having an absolute blast i i hope that all of you are too i want to thank you all for hanging out with me um good i'm glad um i want to thank you all for hanging out with me um this is always so fun. I mean, I could keep going on this. I could work for another two hours, but I'm hungry and I have some other things I have to do uh, today. <laughs> Good. I'm glad I have mine. Um, I I am so excited with how this character is is coming along. I'm excited with just hey Hilly. Oh man, you caught me like right as I'm wrapping up too. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Hi, Hilly. Um, <laughs> um, but yes, uh, this has been so fun. I'm. We've made a lot of great progress on this piece today. Um, we got, we got eight thirty to five. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, well, we'll try to next Tuesday. We'll try to go a little bit longer. Um, uh, so that way, uh. You know, you don't miss us too much. Uh, we'll try. We'll try to go a little bit longer as well. Uh, competitions. Uh, what do you mean, Lugarius? Competitions. Do you mean like art contests and stuff, uh, like we did um, before? I need to lower the angle on my camera. Now that I think about it, too. Um, not yet, but I am thinking of another one. I'm still planning the marathon too. That's something I wanted to talk about real quick before I go. Um, the marathon is still going to happen. Uh, there's been some, yay, I'm center. <laughs> um, I just have too much headroom, I think, uh, especially if I slump down like I tend to do. Um, that's one of the reasons I, uh, do a posture check is so that I can make sure to sit up. But I wanted to talk about that real quick before I go. The marathon is still going to happen. Um, because of everything, because of all the stuff the, the, um, that's happened, it has been put on the back burner um, for just a little bit because, you know, I want to make sure that everything is good to go. Um, but I am still planning on doing a 48-hour marathon. Um, you guys reached the goal. Um, you got me to a hundred subs, uh, for the month of March. And, um, by the end of the month of March, you got me there. And, um, with all the gifted and everything you guys have done, um, I've got a new goal. Obviously we broke a hundred. Um, and I want to see if we can one day get to 200. Um, we'll see what happens, but, um, the marathon is still going to happen. I just have had to shift things around. So that is TBD, but we are still within the next uh, within the next month, hopefully going to have a 48 hour, uh, marathon where I, you know, I am live for a full 48. We're going to have a lot of fun. We've got games, uh, lined up for it. We've got integration. We've got the regular, we've got, um, uh, art. We're, we're going to have the whole gamut of things and we're going to make sure that it, it is good. And we'll, we'll announce uh, a bunch of stuff then too. Uh, <laughs> exactly um 
that that's kind of the plan but we are still going to do it you guys broke that hey, you guys you guys got us to the hundred um and and i am a man of my word <laughs> um so we're gonna make sure that happens um it just like i said unfortunately it got pushed off just a little bit because of everything um but yes i'm excited too i'm excited to do it it's gonna be so much fun um if you guys want to see how this piece turns out this is the last time we're going to work on it on stream i'm going to finish this up over this next week um and we are going to um put it as a speed paint over on the youtube channel so if you haven't subscribed to the youtube channel uh <laughs> creepy mouth <laughs> breathing noises i like it if you guys haven't subscribed oh no i probably mistyped <laughs> that's funny i'll fix that in the after but um yes uh if you guys haven't subscribed to the youtube channel please do there's some exclusive youtube content over there also hilly because you know you you missed this stream which is okay we'll 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 get you taken care of because we now have a backup channel as well for all of our streams if ever you miss a stream um within a week they're usually up uh, on imaginary backup jack it just put exclamation point backup in the chat and you can find all the streams i'm going to download this one right now and um all the streams from this last uh saturday through today are uh going to yeah it should be working is it not working oh no Uh, I don't know. JJ, uh, <laughs> yes, but here, uh, it, if you just search, um, here, I'll, I'll, I'll link it in the chat real quick. I will, I will, I will link it in the chat for everybody. Um, so that you guys can have it. Uh, let me, um, there we go. Copy. Let's go to Twitch. Um, but this is a just a place for backup streams. They're all unedited. All the all the good stuff. There we go. There's the link. Um, if you guys want to, if you haven't uh, subscribed to the YouTube in general, though, you should do that too. Because, like I said, <laughs> um, good, good, Lugaris. I can't wait. Um, because we've got YouTube exclusives going up over there. Gray and I did an episode of um, uh, b -b uh, Minecraft together on a server that we created. And um, we've got even more of that coming out. I'm working on editing a new video for that tomorrow. So that Friday on the regular YouTube channel, the uh, it'll be up. Okay. And we'll have a new couple of videos coming up uh hopefully more content coming up as we go throughout um, these next few weeks. So if you haven't gotten enough of my face, which I'm pretty sure you probably have, but if you haven't, you can, you can find me there as well. But in the meantime, do we have anybody that we want to raid before we go? Is play me out streaming? <laughs> but I had it first. Marcel was first. <laughs> yeah, that's Marcel. He's been with us for a while. Gray gave me that a while ago. Um, I love Marcel. Not currently? Okay, no worries. Do we have anybody that we want to raid, though? Um, you know me, I love... Yeah, and that was... Uh, the community came up with that name, too. <laughs> which is even better. I love it. Um... Oh my god, I'm on the Imaginary Backup Jack channel. Um, hold on, let me just show you guys real quick. Um, and one of the first, one of the video thumbnails is literally, it, it's gray, fed me a, a piece of toast with jam on it. And the thumbnail is literally just my face with toast sticking out of it this one right here it's it's oh my gosh oh my gosh Are you late for anime school? i am late for anime school gray <laughs> um 
But yeah, do we have any any raid suggestions? I know Darko is probably wrapped up by now. Um, but yeah, any any raid suggestions, and then we will we will be done for the day. <laughs> Hi, Gray. Clearly <laughs> looking down. I know. <laughs> Gray, I was trying to make it look like, you know, you were like, you know. Oh, no, that's okay. That's okay. Um, Let me just find a random channel. Then. Let me find a random art channel real quick. That's right. Darko doesn't stream on Tuesdays. Durr. <laughs> um... Let's let's show another art channel some love. Um, let's let's. Oh gosh, no! Not don't don't don't. What? Uh, um, let's go browse. Let's go art. Where is the art tag? All right. No worries, no worries. Um, let's find somebody who doesn't have a lot of. Oh my gosh, there's. Ah, uh, wow, art. Uh, uh, art. <laughs> the art tab is. Uh, yeah, he's back in his chair. Tobe's back in his chair. The art tab is thirsty today. Apparently, Tuesdays are really big for thirsty art. Um, yeah, you can see Tobe's little little boot. That's why that's why the chair is there, and then why the camera's angled there. Um, uh, let's see. Let me. A fairy mod mother? I have not. I have not heard of this uh, this person. I know they're so thirsty today. They're so thirsty. Um, okay. Um, yeah. Um, drawing random things in my sketchbook. Uh, Let's do this person. I don't even know if they speak English, but we're going to just do this. Uh, B L A B I 81 Blabby 81. All right. Well, give Blabby 81 some uh <laughs> some love and you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. We will see you this Saturday 11:30 a.m. sharp for some more uh uh gaming and integration. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you all. Have a wonderful week. We'll see you soon. Bye.